it didn't come with a computer. Didn't you have to get like a keyboard to attach? Yeah. These get into the homes, they're on the kitchen table, they're on the dining room table, and people see them. Graves says there hasn't been a confirmed shooting in the case since September 10th. On Wall Street, they're up by 140 points, the Nasdaq rose 29, the S&P advanced 17. More on these stories at townhall.com. At TIAA Cref, our record sounds like a broken record. We got impressive results in 2013. <laughs> and 2014, same thing. We're like, hey, weren't we just here? Then 2015, boom, more impressive results. That's the kind of record you'd expect from a company that's created to serve and built to perform. Intelligent investing, powerful results. Visit TIAA.org. TIAA Cref, Individual and Institutional Services, LLC. Investing involves risk. Now is the time to save on hardwood and more at Lumber Liquidator's end of summer clearance sale. We're making room for new fall inventory. That means it's your chance to get an incredible deal on solid pre-finished hardwood for just 99 cents. Wide plank, hand scraped oak for $1.99. Beautiful carbonized bamboo for $1.29. Plus, get 10 to 15% off Morningstar Bamboo, the number one selling brand of bamboo flooring. Top quality laminate and vinyl plank from 49 cents and 24 month special financing. Hurry, the end of summer clearance sale is going on now. Visit lumberliquidators.com to find NASA's newest spacecraft, the Orion, won't be flying astronauts as soon as anticipated. NASA Associate Administrator Robert Lightfoot says after a detailed review, managers decided to push back the launch date for the first mission with astronauts. Coming out of the review, that was basically set uh, to be no later than April of 2023 at a development cost from October 2015 till the time we fly crew for the first time at $6.77 billion. Lightfoot says technicians have made good progress identifying manufacturing issues, but managers wanted a realistic day given the challenges of human space vehicles. We've identified these pretty early, and these guys are attacking them. Um, they're kind of knocking them down as quick as they can, but we know there's going to be some unknown unknowns that pop up. That's just the history of just about every program. An unmanned test flight of Orion and the new SLS rocket is still on schedule for 2018. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Senate Republicans will try again to force a floor vote on the Iran nuclear deal before the 60-day congressional review period expires tomorrow. North Dakota Republican John Thune accusing critics of trying to protect the president. Because the president evidently doesn't want to have to deal with the decision about whether or not to veto this resolution of disapproval. Democrats have dug in. Minority Leader Harry Reid says it's time to move on to more pressing issues. At this rate, the Senate will end this week with nothing to show for a time but two failed votes. Nothing dealing with the most important issue facing this country, and that is how to fund the government. The government facing an end-of-month shutdown unless Congress <laughs> approves a spending plan. Mike just wants to see Former Daily now News like show host John Stewart has taken up lobbying. <laughs> Stewart met with lawmakers in Washington for an effort to extend a law providing medical monitoring and treatment for September 11th we first responders. And this is townhall.com. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We are the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. Talk Live. This 
This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here toll-free. We'll give you that number here in a moment. Also, we've got Skype, and with you in the studio tonight, you got me, Ian. And Taryn P. Lupo. And Mark. Lots of stuff to talk about here tonight, including the what I would say probably the biggest story of the day. You know, we don't normally talk about the biggest stories in the news, but this one I think is pretty important. It's about the young man, 14 years old, who was arrested for a science project. He was arrested for making a clock. That's right, a clock. And apparently the people at school thought that it was a bomb. And they called the police. Story here from Wired Magazine, as well as uh, I've got one from Vox. Dot com. This one's Vox. Ahmed Muhammad. That, that might, might be the problem. Factor. Yeah. Yep, that might have been a factor. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Uh, is a ninth grader in Irving, Texas, who likes to tinker with electronics on Monday. That's a couple days ago. According to Dallas Morning News, he built a simple electronic clock, a project that he said took about 20 minutes because, you know, he's a pretty techy, geeky whiz kid kind of guy. And uh, he strapped it inside a pencil case. He showed the project to his engineering teacher, who praised the design, but advised him not to show it to others. Later, in Ahmed's English class... So is the pencil case out of some syndrilical or whatever? Like, it could be chucked full of, like, C4? Is that the idea? Um, I actually have a photo. Wired Magazine has a picture of this alleged bomb clock. Does it look bomby? Uh, you know, it's got a big clock display on it you know like right. the led oh display. sure hollywood's got a lot of uh led display uh bombs out there right, right. uh and it is in a, a case so <laughs> you know you could look at that as like a suitcase bomb or something like that and the guy's name is ahmed you know the science teacher by the way wasn't the one who was upset about this just to right. be clear the right. science teacher you know he understood this was a, a clock and uh, there's you know there's just electronics in here there's no can you imagine poor stuff. ahmed going about life just thinking, hey, I'm a kid at school building a clock, just being normal and stuff, and not thinking about everybody's feelings in Texas. That's like, there's a there's a J Day Muslim out here building things with electronics on them. He's liable to blow us all up. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think that. I think it's my Georgia accent. Even, <laughs> that's that, yeah, that's a good redneck <laughs> accent. You got to work on that. Uh, th- to think that you. You can't even show off what you're proud of. Like, if you, were, I was a kid at his age and being able to build something cool like that, I'd be like, yeah, check it out. Yeah. You go around school, of course you he's going to show You would have been wa- walking around all Absolutely. normal with a, a, a digital clock. Not I would have strapped that thing to my chest and showed it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's it's just some electronics in a pencil case. That's really all that, that we're talking about here. It looks like there's uh, some kind of uh, electronic board, you know, PC board, whatever you want to call that. Uh, with some wires, and then there's a digital readout, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's no, like, chemicals or anything that you would use to actually make a bomb uh, with. But the English teacher doesn't know that stuff. So later in Ahmed's English class... She's used to fiction. (laughs) The clock beeped while it was in his bag. He then showed the project to his teacher, and she thought it looked like a bomb. He insisted the clock wasn't a bomb, but the authorities at the school weren't impressed. The teacher kept the clock when the principal and a police officer... Right, pulled, because... It's a bomb. A <laughs> terrorist is going to turn over his bomb right. to to an English teacher, <laughs> right? Like, he doesn't, have a go- he doesn't have a little box cutter for taking care of nosy English teachers. We have to... Well, now, for a moment, I thought this might be a bomb, so I guess we're going to have to go through the whole thing to where this kid gets arrested. Right. And so she takes the supposed bomb from him, right? right. I mean, if she was really taking this seriously as a bomb... Do you think that, uh, you know, would the average person have the courage to just pick up what they thought was a bomb and confiscate it? I, you know, I sure wouldn't. If I thought something was a bomb, I'd get the hell out of there. What I think what I think at this point is what, we're well beyond what I think. So um, let's let's go on. Uh, so he, let's see. Okay, so she uh, kept the clock. When the principal and a police officer pulled Ahmed out of sixth period, he suspected he would not be getting it back. They led Ahmed to a room where four other police officers waited. He said an officer he'd never seen before leaned back in his chair and remarked, Yep, that's who I thought it was, unquote. So, Does we, he we have got like, us a Middle Easterner Is it with completely a bomb. That? Or do you think he has like a history of being shady? Uh, this kid looks like just a total just, like just, geeky kid. I don't. Okay. I mean, he didn't, look, he didn't look too shady. There's a picture of him with... 
uh, with a peace sign and some spectacles on here. If All that's right. the case, I mean, if if the if the police uh, have information on this kid that uh, leads them to believe that he is um, likely to build a bomb or something like that, we certainly didn't get that from any of the dozens of stories that are out there on this. Ahmed suddenly felt conscious of his brown skin and his name, one of the most common in the Muslim religion. But the police kept him busy with questions. Ahmed said, they were like, so, you tried to make a bomb? I told them no, he says. I was trying to make a clock. He said, it looks like a movie bomb to me. <laughs> uh, that's how good, many, because yeah. movie bombs don't blow people up either. Uh, I'm wondering how many terrorists sit down and they're like, okay, let's try to make this look really good. All right, let's make it look just like Total Recall. <laughs> According to the Dallas Morning News, the police arrested Ahmed and let him out of school in handcuffs. Talk about an embarrassing yeah, situation. That's pretty rough. And it, it brings home, like, imagine what this might be like. It brings home very very in a very real fashion how different ahmed is mm. in in a high school all you really want is to sort of be normal to fit in oh, yeah. to not get picked on but here they are the authority figures are picking on him they've got no evidence not a single bit but they drag him off in handcuffs yeah. this this is this is what systemic disenfranchisement looks like. Right. Uh, ultimately, not charging him with anything, by the way. So he was arrested, but not charged with anything. So that's that. Yeah, case closed. Well, I wonder how many kids... Um, oh, uh, oh that, you know, what's really important here? It's really important to see how the cops put their lives on the line every day and how situations like this can be misinterpreted by, you know, normal everyday people that don't understand what cops go through to the point that uh, those normal everyday people begin to think of the police as enemies and not as friends. Like, this is why the police are feeling like there's a war on police right now. Because police, you know, as a, individuals keep on doing stupid stuff like this and making enemies. How many high schoolers out there feel like the police are their friends? And uh, if, if they're smart, not very many of them. And if that's the case, um, if there's not very many of them, how many of those high schoolers are going to grow up to be 20 or 30 something? Because I can tell you in high school, a good percentage of my friends did not consider the police to be their friends. Not They didn't consider them a resource. And that was in the 80s. That was in the 80s. Yeah. I think it's changed a lot. Police have lost a lot of legitimacy, and this kid who got arrested is probably going to be the coolest kid around. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. These days, it's it's a different world, man. Well, right now, he's suspended. Uh, the school gave him a three-day suspension for making a clock, for being interested in science, for being interested in science enough to the point where he can actually make his own clock. I don't know about you, but... You know, that's not something I can just crank out. I'd have to go and do some reading and research and figure out how to go you know, get It'd the parts. It'd take me a little and, while to pull that off, yeah. that's for sure. I could probably do it, but yeah, it would take some uh, some serious effort. So rather than, you know, apologize or whatever, they went ahead and uh, suspended him anyway. Now, maybe that's been reversed since the news has come out, but uh, that is the news there for you. The As I said here, the Wired story actually has a picture of the so-called bomb clock. I'll put that up on our Facebook and Twitter for you. So did he get the clock back then? If they're able to get a picture of it. I'm not clear. Uh, this photo is from Irving Police. So this okay. is uh, this is from the police. So this is files. their defense of their behavior. <laughs> Here's the bomb, for God's sakes. Look at it. Look at it. Now, there has been an outpouring of support for Ahmed. There oh, was yeah, there a, has. a Twitter uh, ch tag that was trending today. So he's been invited to the White House. Yeah. And I believe Mark Zuckerberg has invited him to Facebook's uh, That's correct. Uh, offices. So um, This could be one of the best things for his career, I guess. These you know, yucker do hick billy hillbilly cops had done the best thing they could ever do for Ahmed. They done made him famous. Our toll-free number tonight, if you want to join us here, 855-450-FREE. I mean, there's not really an issue here it's just absolutely ridiculous and outrageous i can't imagine anybody is going to support what happened to this kid 855 450 free that's the toll free number we've also got skype you can skype in here at username lrn.fm did you ever get into a situation like this as a kid every once in a while you get information that's worth changing your life for this is one such time you can save up to and beyond 25 percent on all purchases at amazon you probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon. 
But now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. No! That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water and your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Hi, this is Walt Augustinowitz. I'm the founder and CEO of ID Stronghold. By now you've heard our commercials about wallets that protect you from electronic pickpocketing. Ten years ago, I created a way to protect my own cards from prying eyes after government officials started talking about issuing a national ID card with a built-in radio chip called RFID. I felt having to broadcast my personal information was an invasion of privacy. Soon after, it was also announced that credit cards, debit cards, U.S. passports, hotel room keys, and even transit passes would all soon incorporate RFID. It was then I formed ID Stronghold to share my inventions in blocking RFID signals with the world. There are a lot of misconceptions out there today about RFID. I encourage everyone to get informed and get protected. Please go to IDStronghold.com and get the facts and the wallet sleeves or badge holders you need to protect your personal financial data. You'll be pleasantly surprised that through our direct sales model, you won't pay more than other comparable unprotected wallets. It is as though the protection is free. Visit IDStronghold.com today. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800 518 7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A L K A Vision.com. Now, more free talk live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here. Toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's the number, and you can bring up anything that happens to be on your mind. We are talking about the young man... 14 years old in Texas who has uh, gotten in some hot water with the police because he is a geek and he likes science. So he made a clock, brought the clock to school to show off to a science teacher. And uh, then the clock beeped in his bag during the English class he was in. He showed the teacher the clock. She got scared, 
called the police, and the police arrested him. Don't forget that she confiscated the clock. Because I think that's really important. This brave English teacher took a bomb from a terrorist, and uh, (laughs) he just hands it right over, you know? Um, I mean, you know, really what it takes is it takes determination and follow through, right? Like, you don't just take a bomb from a terrorist that you've been uh, teaching in your class for um, weeks, if not months, um, but you, you also, you call the police if the terrorist turns the bomb right over. Uh, we're going to continue on this because there's there's been a real good side to this story, and we just kind of began touching on that a moment ago. I also want to let you know about ProXPN because if you care about privacy when you're online, you need ProXPN. It's a virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data. So before your information reaches your Internet service provider, it's encrypted, which means that the ISP you have will no longer know what you're doing online. And that means they can't sell that information. They can't turn it over to the government either. ProXPN helps keep you safe online. You can go get started right now at ProXPN.com and then use code FTL50 when you get signed up to save 50% off of the regular monthly price for the lifetime of your account. When you buy an annual account with code FTL50, it can be cheaper per month than a good cup of coffee. So get started at ProXPN.com. And don't forget to use code FTL50 for that deep discount. And take back the privacy. That is your right. Unfortunately, when you are in government school, you have no privacy. There's not even a semblance of it. The only place you could maybe get some privacy is in a bathroom stall at a government school. And that's about it because, man, they got cameras everywhere. And they have uh, busybody teachers that think they know what's best who will call the police on you, even though you've not actually done anything, you've not, not harmed anyone. This guy, this guy uh, I'm, I mean, I'm just judging by the way he looks. He looks like a pretty innocent, uh, geeky kid. Well, like, I, I mean, I haven't been in the school since the 90s, uh, early, early 90s. Mm-hmm. Do they have cameras everywhere now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, in fact, like we, you, you really can't just. Uh, like we used to have, you know, dark spots under the stairs to go do our our bidding or whatever. Well, I don't think they have a camera under the stairs, but you know they do I mean? have cameras. It's like in a prison. These things. They didn't yeah. have cameras when I was in school. No. No, they got them now though. That's for damn sure. Uh, and we we actually talked about a story I think last week on the show at some point about the supposedly most secure school in America, where they've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars outfitting this school with these smoke bombs that are in the ceiling that the police can like trigger these bombs if somebody bads in in the school and try to you know block them from being able to see and shoot kids that kind of thing wow just ridiculous uh amount of security and surveillance that they have it really is like a prison very very much like a prison of course there have been a lot of similarities between government schools and prisons for a while but it's it's getting worse as time goes on now, Wired Magazine does have a picture of the so-called bomb device. It's uh, it's a pencil case that has some electronic equipment in it, including a big red readout display, which is likely what is freaking people out. Uh, yeah. The red clock, sort of the you know, it's the, red. You know, the, you know, it looks like, and you know, it looks big here in this picture, but maybe it's not even really that big. This is a pencil case, after all, so maybe the perspective here is a little bit off. Yeah, in fact, you can see the plug. There's like a plug that you'd plug into the wall next to it to kind of give you a little bit of perspective. I guess it's a fairly large red display, all things considered. Uh, sort of like what you'd see on your clock radio, but a little bit larger than well, that. It's got to be big so that I can see it in the morning when I don't have my glasses on and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Makes it very convenient because I can't sleep with my glasses on. Don't want to have to reach for them so I can look. So, by the way, the police have decided to not press charges at this point. So they, they've decided that em- embarrassing this young man uh, in front of his entire school was enough. That was sufficient. Uh, where they led him out in handcuffs today and then ultimately decided to not file hoax bomb charges against Ahmed. But, as Wired points out, social networks are still seething with outrage over the egregious treatment of a person simply wanting to participate in technology. Along with the yeah. outrage, don't forget that they're pushing what they call STEM, science, technology, uh, you know, engineering, and whatever mathematics uh, with the with kids right now, and uh, it looks really bad when you, you know, you got a kid who's interested in these things, and you go ahead and take him to jail. Along with the outrage, however, has come an outpouring of support from technology's biggest names. Uh, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg wrote in a post that went up on his personal site today. Quote, Ahmed, if you ever want to come by Facebook, I'd love to meet you. Keep building, he says. 
Mark Andreessen, the co-founder of a prominent Silicon Valley venture capital firm, Andreessen Horowitz, tweeted a sly joke about the potato clocks he hacked on as a kid before <laughs> turning his Twitter feed into a supportive retweet storm. He wrote, quote, you have to admit those potatoes look a lot like grenades. And then I think he included a picture of those potatoes. Uh, from its Science Fair account, Google tweeted that it would save Ahmed a seat at their show because Google has a Science Fair. They said, "Yeah, nice. Hey, Ahmed, we're saving a seat for you at this weekend's Google Science Fair. Want to come? Bring your clock." Uh, and then the the pound I stand with Ahmed was the thing that was wow. t- uh, trending. It was the top trend on Twitter today, I believe. Do you do you think uh, the cops will apologize for this? And is it, is it such a black eye, or do you think they'll just dodge it? You know, that's a great question. Uh, Maybe somebody could do some digging and find out if there was an apology issued. I highly doubt it. The police generally don't tend to apologize for botching things up. Uh, Why would they? They did him a huge favor at this point. Master (laughs) tweeter Aaron Levy, CEO of enterprise cloud company Box, also extended an invitation to Ahmed. He said, Ahmed, I know you've been invited to the White House and Facebook, but we both know you're an enterprise software guy at heart. Come by Box. And uh, and then there was actually I love the pitch that's with it. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to get a, this kid a yeah, job right. already. I think it's great. <laughs> Come man. work for us. Absolutely. <laughs> well, this is as an employer, this is something that you really have to consider for yourself. Is is the the best thing for you is is to find the good people, collect them around you, yep. and then find things for them to do. And he's a good. The, the, yeah, what they're assuming is, is that he's good. Uh, by the way, and and you know, kudos. I don't. You know, it's hard to give kudos out to Barack Obama, but I'll give him when when he deserves it. And in this case, he he deserves it. He uh, he wrote a tweet today saying, "Cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? We should inspire more kids like you to like science. It's what makes America great." Yeah. Well, good job. Yeah. Good job, uh, Pre- Potus. There. He, he's uh, right on on that. Yeah. One. He he he's using this opportunity to to push good stuff. So there you go. That's the story. And like I said. I don't think there's really any issue here besides the fact that the police are absolutely outrageous in how they handle this situation. Uh, this is yet, I guess you could point out there's a number. There's another reason to get your well, kids out of government school because had he been homeschooled or unschooled, then this wouldn't uh, be a problem. Yeah, this wouldn't even have been an issue at a private school or anything like and it's that fortunate, or homeschool. And it's fortunate that you know there's been such a pouring of support or an outpouring of support uh, in the online community. And I think that's ultimately this is, it's turned out to be a real blessing in disguise Yeah, uh, what has happened. Obviously, this got turned around for him, but I mean, you know, do you think this would have happened to a kid whose name wasn't Ahmed or something Probably similar? Probably not. Uh, that, that's the way I see it. I mean, I'm not talking about systemic racism here, but I mean, good Lord, it seems obvious. It seems like it's glaring on its face here. Yeah, obviously. Toll free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. That allows you to take control of the airwaves to bring up whatever happens to be on your mind. We've got good news coming out of Colorado where... We got the numbers after a couple years worth of marijuana legalization. What are the totals? How much money have they raised through those taxes? It's Free Talk Live. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body. And alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Turn on the news and you'll hear stories of natural disasters, political unrest, and financial crisis. In times of uncertainty, how will you take care of your family's most basic needs? Food Insurance, America's most trusted provider of freeze-dried emergency food, has solutions that fit your family's needs and budget. Our meals are delicious, nutritious, and come with a guaranteed 25-year shelf life. For a limited time, we are sending a free freeze-dried meal to all listeners of this program. Go to foodinsurance.com and request your free meal today. That's foodinsurance.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let 
gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacral wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the Sacro Wedgie. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can bring up what you want. Our toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And i got to apologize to uh, the three callers that we have on hold. I had my window that uh, remind, was reminding me to do something in front of my phone screening window. So, so I you couldn't just, see it. I just now noticed that uh, you were there. We're going to get to your phone calls here in a moment, but I want to welcome KVSF FM 101.5, the voice of Santa Fe. We are awesome. back on uh, in Santa Fe, back on KVSF. It's always nice to come back to a station. New Mexico? That, that's correct. Okay, great. Are there, I, I imagine there might be other Santa Fe's, but yeah, uh, yeah the, the real Santa Fe. Saint uh, Faith. Yeah, that's, it's uh, that unusual. That's where we're at. The uh, the voice of Santa Fe. We used to be on this station, Mark, uh, back in the day. A really? Few, a few years ago, and they uh, they changed from uh, talk to music. Now they've changed back from music to talk. So uh, we're back. And we're actually now in the overnight. So if you're listening to the show in Santa Fe, you're not listening live, but that doesn't mean you can't participate. Just make a note and call the show during our live hours, which are 7 to 10 at night Eastern time. If you're in Mountain, that would be 5 to 8 uh, p.m. every single day Mountain time. And cool news for Santa Fe listeners, you'll be getting us four hours a night. So we only do a three-hour-a-night show, so you're getting four hours of free talk live. What, how are they doing that? I think they're going to take the previous an hour from the previous night and then air the three hours from tonight. Okay. Every night. And so seven nights a week on in Santa Fe. Welcome aboard, uh, Santa Fe listeners. Our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Mark, you're going to be heading out to that area of the country, thereabouts. Well, I, I think that Las uh, Vegas. it has to, it, it, you know, it... it, it, it belies where you're from when you say that Santa Fe is close to Las Vegas <laughs> because I'm sure that people over out in the West they probably think I don't know Boston's close to Baltimore mm -hmm. but they're probably the same distance Maybe. Um, yeah is what my guess is uh, really these these places, out west these places are not close <laughs> right. at all 
<laughs> but yes, I am uh, on October the 29th and 30th. I will be out at the Bitcoin Investor uh, Conference at BitcoinInvestor.com. Um, it's at the D Hotel in Las Vegas in Nevada and downtown, not on the Strip necessarily. So if uh, you're a Bitcoin enthusiast, come on out. This is going to be a lot of fun. Also, if you want to see Free Talk Live performed live, come on out. Uh, Ian, have we done a live event from Las Vegas before? I have not. So then, you, then we have I've not. never been there. There's never been a live free talk live from Las Vegas. So this is it. The it's first... going to be your first live free talk live by yourself. That's true, uh, because you have a uh, convention to take That's care right. of. That's right. So there you go. Bitcoininvestor.com to get your tickets. Uh, we're going to have Dr. Stephanie Murphy uh, and Brian Sovereign, both former co hosts, are going to be out there. They're going to be helping me out. I heard Michelle Seven's going to be there. Michelle Seven's going to be, uh, I should say, Bitcoin Bell That's is going to thing. be there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Stephen Michaels, uh, Edmund C. May, uh, Paul Pui. They're, uh, it's going to be a. It's That's a the Airbits guy. It Airbits is. wallet. Yeah, it's going to be a big nice event. Guy. So, bitcoininvestor.com, please come on out and join me at bitcoininvestor.com. I wish I could be there. I love these Bitcoin events, and this is the first one they're ever doing. So, you don't want to miss it. Bitcoininvestor.com. Let's go to Glenn. He's in Philly. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian Taran and Mark. Hello, Glenn. Hello, gentlemen. Apology accepted. Okay. Twenty minutes. Now you're just like now you're just like Alex Jones. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. <laughs> um, um, about the appearance of Ahmed's uh, clock uh, device. Uh, first of all, what exactly is cylindrical? Is that, is that something shaped like Cinderella? <laughs> something shaped um, like a cylinder. I, I what, no, that's what cylindrical oh, is the word you want there. Cylindrical. That's it. No, no, that's not the word I want. It's the word Ian wants. I think. I didn't. I didn't um, misspeak that. That was Mark who. Oh, or somebody said uh, Mark. Oh, okay, somebody said Cinderella. I said, oh, she's like Cinderella. All right. Um, Tw- but, jokes that are twenty uh, minutes late really uh, aren't funny. Well, it wasn't necessarily a joke. It was merely fault finding. The, right. um, the, uh, the uh, problem with the clock was it, it um, had protruding red and blue wires and handily counted down from ten. You know, and, you know, so that was a problem. And what counted yeah. down from ten? I'm sorry. It, it had two protruding wires, one red, one blue, and it continually counted down from 10. Really? Um, I didn't get that detail from, no. from the news you know, No that, jokes. You have, to, you, have choose, you have to choose which wire to cut. See, so, oh, that's cute. Uh, it's a MacGy- uh, MacGyver joke. Okay, got it. Uh, 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 All right. Uh, uh, You're three for three. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 hey, you're not comprehending him. Not my fault. Hey, uh, Ahmed's family, who is, who is Lutheran, has been having their phone uh, ring off the wall. MIT called uh, from an, an engineering scholarship, but wow. little do they realize that five years from now he'll be a theater major. But you know, oh man, <laughs> man, this guy has all the jokes Thanks. tonight. <laughs> all right. Thanks That's for the call, call, Glenn. Glenn. Appreciate it. <laughs> Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. Glenn was taking a shot at jokes. I don't mind if you no, take a shot it. at jokes. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Call with more jokes, please. Yeah. Going on. Here, I don't though. think you should have led with Cendrelical though. Mike is in Clackamas, Oregon. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Mike. Guys. Hey there. Um, um, before I uh, talk about what I originally called in about, I had a question concerning actually kind of this topic was what happened um, in the court case back in 2011 with Brad Jardis and Tommy Mazingo about them trying to go to court to get the statewide regulatory scheme on carrying firearms on the campus. Whatever happened with that court case? Oh, my God. All right. So what you're referring to is the fact that pretty much everywhere firearms, guns are banned from college campuses. And if you watch Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com, this is part of that movie where Brad Jardis, a former law enforcement officer and another a former military man, Tommy Mozingo, went to the, uh, the what was it, Plymouth State College. I think yeah, that was. sounds right. They went to Plymouth State College. And the idea was that they were going to carry guns onto the college campus to force the issue and take it to court. Uh, Ultimately, because um, in in, in New Hampshire, basically you you are allowed to have a gun on sort of any government property or something like that, I think is what the rule is. Uh, Not courts. Yeah, not courts. You can't go into court. Right. Uh, You let's see. So, yeah. And you can't go into schools. So they so he wanted to challenge this thing. And that was what his plan was, but ultimately it was neutered because the school went to the court and they got an injunction from a judge. And the judge basically said, if anybody goes onto this campus uh, with a gun, if you 
Mr. Jardis and Mr. Mozingo and anybody that you're associated with, anybody that you're associated with, anybody that you know, anybody that's your co blogger, anybody that it, it was just this order that was written in a right. ridiculous manner. Uh, if you show up on this cam- campus, you will be charged with contempt of court. And so that basically meant that if Brad did show up with a gun and challenge the, wanted to challenge the law, he'd just end up in jail for contempt. So you can't challenge contempt. So essentially the judge yep. prohibited him from going onto the campus by this o- order. And further, the judge actually issued an, an order saying that Brad had to remove his post from Free Keen. Uh, can, can a judge tell people to remove a post? A I judge mean, can tell people whatever they want. How does that even want. happen? And I was insulted by this. So uh, Brad went and he removed his post, and then I went ahead and put it back online. So I basically, you know, uh, refused to follow that judge's order. I'm I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to restrict my freedom of speech because the judge says says so. Yeah. So I wasn't right. willing to do that. Brad, you know, he was in the mood of ba- uh, backing down at this point. He didn't want to challenge it. You know, his his goal wasn't to challenge contempt of court. His goal wasn't to go up against a judge, but the school essentially outsmarted him by going to the judge and getting that ruling in advance. So ultimately what they ended up doing was going to the school anyway, but not open carrying any guns. Now maybe they were concealed carrying. We don't know. Uh, but that was, right. uh, they, they still, you know, they were still a, kind of a big deal made about it. They knew they were coming. So a bunch of people had come out to see this happen. There were protesters there, counter protesters. Well, there were protesters, but the, it looked like the college teachers had handed out a bunch of signs yes. and then point and then told all the students to not say anything. That happened too. Because oh, it yeah. was really, remember, really weird. Yeah, That's yeah, one I of the funniest the video scenes in the movie. Is, all right, all these, for you guys that hadn't seen it, there's uh, actually video up, I'm sure, at Freaking somewhere. And uh, and so they have all these protesters that are like college kids holding signs. And Mark's absolutely right. So when they finally question the kids, they have no idea what this is about at right. all. Just, They're just like, oh, our teacher made us come. It's extra credit. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, uh, stand by. I don't know if that answered your question. I hope it did. But stand by. We'll, uh, we'll continue the discussion here. 855 450 free. And th- that scene that you're talking about, Taryn, is in Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Oh, it is. All right. uh, it's one of the funnier scenes in the movie where Derek uh, encounters one of these protesters and starts to question him. And his teacher comes along and tells him to be quiet. <laughs> free talk don't you live. dare think. Tells the student that. If you could choose any school in the country to earn your college degree and be on your way to a better life, would you choose one the Wall Street Journal recognizes as producing some of the best qualified graduates? Or one the Princeton Review ranks as a leader in undergraduate education? Or maybe one the U.S. News & World Report names among the most innovative schools in the country? Now, you don't have to choose. At Arizona State University, we want to help you learn to thrive in life. At ASU Online, we offer over 100 graduate and undergraduate programs on your time and schedule. You receive the exact same curriculum, degree, and prestigious faculty as the on-campus students, and we're universally recognized as one of the innovators in online learning technologies. For information, call 1-800-595-9736. U.S. News & World Report ranked ASU in the top 10 best places to earn an online degree. So learn to thrive with ASU Online. Call today at 1-800-595-9736. That's 1-800-595-9736. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. 
So I found out the other day that at guns80.com, a lot of people don't get the Ghost AR-15 rifle kits because they're afraid that they won't be able to do the machining work required to drill out and make ready the lower. Well, listen, guys, gals, I am not that good of a machinist, I promise you. But I was able to take a drill press with an XY table and knock this out in about 45 minutes. And in all honesty, mine looks really good. Go get yours. Don't be afraid. It's easy. Guns80.com. Go to guns80.com now. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live, and you are invited to join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you should have the right to defend yourself, even if you're on a college campus. In fact, especially if you're on a college campus, there are some bad people on college campuses. There are no shortages of rape charges against college people. And so, well, yeah, that's it's true. There may be um, some overreporting of that too, so it's difficult to know. That may be true, Mark, but there's definitely rape that happens on a college campus. I, and if you are a it's female, rape that happens everywhere, right? Or a male who could be raped on a college campus, then it would be behoove you to have some sort of way to defend yourself against an overpowering attacker. And a gun is a good way to do that. It's a good way to even the odds. But unfortunately, our college students all across the country are disarmed. I don't know. Maybe there's maybe Hillsdale lets lets it happen. Maybe there's a couple of private colleges where it's allowed, but pretty much any state college, you generally are not going to be allowed to have any kind of uh, any kind of gun. And I don't know what other weapons are banned, but I uh, I don't know. It, are there other weapons banned from college campuses? Does anybody know that? I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, that was the issue that uh, Mike had called in about here tonight. We're going to continue that discussion. Also, if you want to jump in and bring up anything you want, you can do that. Still to come, we'll talk about Colorado's marijuana legalization and how that's been working out. ExpressCoin is the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, it's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They are a licensed money services business. Get your cryptocurrencies with money order or check. What's that? So you say you don't know what a Bitcoin is? It's decentralized currency, not issued by any bank or any government. It's amazing stuff. You can learn more about Bitcoin over at Bitcoin.com. When you're ready to get some Bitcoin, get started at ExpressCoin.com. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, they can likely help you. That's ExpressCoin.com. You can do it from your smartphone. They've got an app, and you can do it right from their website, ExpressCoin.com. Don't forget to use coupon code FTL, like Free Talk Live, to get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no transfer fee at all. It's expresscoin.com, coupon code FTL. As we go back to Mike in Clackamas, Oregon, Mike, you were wondering what had happened with the situation here in New Hampshire with a former cop who I believe at the time was, a, he was still a cop. No, former cop, according to the article I wrote back in 2011. Uh, so he had just, I think, left the uh, the police after a decade of policing and uh, he had kind of come around to the ideas of liberty and wanted to challenge the college ban on weapons and he was ready to go, but they uh, they cut him off at the pass. 
by having a judge issue an injunction against him and anyone else. Uh, I've actually got the quote here uh, from the story. Mike, do you mind if I share this with you and then we can continue the discussion? Oh, sure, go ahead. Great. So here we go. This is my blog post that I made uh, in response to this judge. Remember I told you the judge made an order demanding that Brad remove his post from freekeen.com? Yeah. So here was my response. Uh, headline, open response to the robed man who believes he controls this blog. If you've been reading this blog <laughs> in the last week, you are aware of the controversy brewing around freekeen blogger and former cop Brad Jardis's plan, along with former military member Tommy Mozingo, to walk onto the campus of Plymouth State University with guns, openly carried. Their purpose was to educate the students about their supposed right to carry weapons for self-defense. He announced it here in advance three days ago, he being Brad, uh, and since the government university system has been freaking out. Now they've gone to the courts to save them from the peaceful gun rights demonstration and outreach event. A man who wears a robe has decreed some pretty outrageous stuff in a temporary restraining order, which I linked to the actual order from the judge there, issued today to Brad and Tommy. First, Brad and Tommy are enjoined from carrying any weapons on State University campus, including Keene State and the University of New Hampshire. But not just Brad and Tommy. Also, quote, their officers, agents, servants, employees, and attorneys, and any person acting in active concert and participation with Bradley Jardis and Tommy Mozingo, unquote. Second, Brad and Tommy, who does not have a blog account here, are both ordered to post the order to this website. Here's the relevant paragraph from the judge's order, quote, Bradley Jardis and Tommy Mozingo are ordered to post a copy of the temporary restraining order on the blog slash website www.freekeen.com in order to provide notice of the enjoined activities to any individuals who plan to bring firearms or other prohibited weapons to the Plymouth State University campus or any other campus administered by the USNH Board of Trustees in response to the press release, unquote. The order goes on to threaten anyone who brings a weapon on state campus with contempt of court and arrest after receiving notice of the temporary restraining order. So, in America, people are supposed to have the freedom of speech. Doesn't that also mean one should have the freedom not to speak? What obligation, besides the threat of a cage, does Brad have to do as he was told by this robed man? Can the robed man also order Brad, or you, dear reader, to do anything he wants them to? Can he order Brad to do 50 push-ups? This particular man in the robe, <laughs> Timothy J. Vaughn, appears to believe that he can just wave his little pen and have us obediently post his ramblings. To Timothy J. Vaughn and the other robed men, this blog is not your property. You do not get to tell us what to post here. Sure, you have men with guns in cages, and you are very scary to a lot of people. Usually, you can get your way through intimidation. You're used to everyone telling you, yes, your honor. Well, those of us here at Free Keen are telling you, no. What you do is not honorable. You're just a human like all the rest of us. You may be able to get away with threatening and harming peaceful people, but that doesn't make you better. It just makes you a tyrant. You know that they read this, right? I mean, there's yes, almost. I intended for them to read yeah, this. It's, it's almost impos an impossibility that they didn't see this. Well, uh, it's, the, for for people just tuning in here, th that Ian's answering this. Uh, this this was your response to a judge who ordered. One That's of your correct. bloggers to stop blogging. Which no, actually, I, didn't know they I, could I was do, wrong in right? my recollection earlier. I said that he ordered him to uh, take something down, and I put it back up. What he was ordering him to do was post his order to the website, and that was what Brad put on the site. And then I took his post down. So as the administrator wow. of the blog, I took Brad's post down. So Brad complied with the order. Right. He Brad did what he was posted to do. the order to the website. I took the post off the website. Right, so the okay. judge can come after you. Did exactly. you get any repercussions from that? No, I did not. Uh, the only reason, this is the last uh, couple paragraphs here, the only reason this article linked to your outrageous order was to prove to people that it was real. One attorney, when interviewed about this, commented that he has never heard of an order compelling action like this. Please note for the record, your paperwork has not been posted in full anywhere on this blog. So making it very clear that it's been disobeyed. Free Keen is a news and opinion outlet that supports free speech and its converse, the right to remain silent. The people who blog here don't appreciate you telling us what to do. If you don't like it, you could always try writing an order telling us to bow before you, kiss your ring, and lick your boots. I bet that would really turn you on. So there you go. That's <laughs> a little a, goading for them. Nice little uh, summary of how that ended up here. Uh, so go ahead, Mike. Uh, what else did you want to share about this? 
Sure. So here you brought up a good point before you went to the break, Ian, uh, about, you know, rapes and attacks on uh, on campus. Well, this is funny because I got a second job before I left New Hampshire to get, about six months before I left New Hampshire, I got a, a job at one of the local bars downtown. Mm-hmm. So, and of course, the investigators. Uh oh, we're lo- now we're lo- yep. of course now we're losing your cell phone yep. signal. Uh, you want to try oh, that again? Here. Say that again. Uh, of course, the liquor. Yeah, we're losing him. Well, Mike, I wish we could hear your story, but uh, tonight might not be the right night for it. Give us another call another time. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. And thanks for bringing this up. This was uh, something oh, yeah, I, had, that's fun. I had not thought about in a while. And, you know, this if you ever want to know what happened with something. You, you pwned that judge. I mean, there's nothing yeah. he could do about it. All he could do is sit at his little mahogany bench and fume, <laughs> just fume <laughs> over the fact that somebody out there, one of the, what was the, the long <laughs> litany of people that were associated with uh, Tommy uh, and, and Brad? Their officers, agents servants, employees, and attorneys, and any person acting in active concert and participation with Bradley Jardis and Tommy Mozingo. Surely you were somebody act- acting in concert with them, and uh, he still didn't do anything, because he didn't have a leg to stand on. Yeah. This unsuccessful attorney, that's why he's a judge, ladies and gentlemen, successful attorneys go on to have successful practices. Unsuccessful ones put on black moo-moos and tell people what to do that is against the law. Well, when the judge says it, most of the time people are going to do it. Uh, in this case, I was standing on the side well, of free speech. this is how the system rewards incompetence, right. right? I mean, the unsuccessful attorneys, they go, they have the big practices. The uh, Excuse me, the successful ones have the big practices. The unsuccessful ones are rewarded by the system. They're given power. So the trick, though, is if you want to call a judge out like this, is you've got to be willing to go to, to jail. I mean, if the judge wanted to, he could probably issue some sort of order having the police arrest me or whatever, and he didn't do that in this case because... Because you're right, maybe he wouldn't have won in the long run, but that wouldn't have stopped him from, you know, putting. No, him in no a one would have cell. arrested him no, for giving an illegal order. You, you're, I mean, you definitely. That's. I can't think of a better example of right to the press than posting a blog about a political issue. But yeah. they don't care. They'll still arrest you and then deal with it later. Right. He you know? he but wanted I, to compel people to post to a private piece of private property. He wanted us to put up his writings on our website. And uh, sorry, not going to do that. Now, I did link to the order, but I did not post it in the way that he wanted it to be posted. And as I said, I only linked to the order so people could actually read it for themselves. So they wouldn't, you know, in case they were disbelieving that this actually happened. This guy actually wrote the things that he wrote. He did. Toll free number tonight, 855-453. It's the last we heard of this particular judge. I don't know what he's doing now. Maybe he's still there. 855-453. They can't get fired. Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Most of us already know that taking a fish oil supplement to boost omega-3s is a good idea. But did you know that about 60% of Americans are actually deficient in omega-3s? Did you know that most fish oil products contain only about 25% omega-3s and the remaining 75% is undesirable fish fat? Heck, did you know that more than 90% of fish oil supplements sold in the USA are not even made here? If you want to boost your omega-3s using the finest American-made fish oil, check out Nutrigold Fish Oil Supplements on www.fishoil.best. Nutrigold fish oils are independently five-star certified and guaranteed to be exceptionally pure. That means no more fish burps. Best of all, just one Nutrigold fish oil capsule contains more omega-3s than four standard fish oil capsules. Go to www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497 and use promo code BESTFISHOIL to get a free one-month supply. That's www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497. 
This is the Genesis Communications Network, GCN. Breaking news from townhall.com. I'm Greg Clugston at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California, where tonight's primetime Republican presidential debate will soon get underway. In the early debate, Senator Lindsey Graham blamed President Obama for not effectively combating Islamic terrorists. How does President Obama sleep at night? Look what you've let happen on your watch. The early round candidates also debated immigration, taxes, and religious freedom when it comes to opposing same-sex marriage. We're now awaiting 11 candidates to enter the debate hall for the prime time event, where frontrunners Donald Trump and Ben Carson will be center stage, standing side by side. And for the first time at the main debate will be Carly Fiorina, the former CEO and only woman in the GOP field. I'm Greg Clugston at the Reagan Library in Simi Valley, California. Now with more news, here's Keith Peters in Washington. Angry migrants tried to break through a border post linking Serbia and Hungary, and Hungarian police responded with water cannons and tear gas. Serbia's prime minister has condemned what he called the brutal treatment of the migrants and Hungarian officials not to fire tear gas onto its territory again. Cal Fire spokesman Dan Olson says rain and cooler temperatures are helping firefighters bring a blaze burning in Lake County under control. Yesterday we started feeling that, that effects of the temperatures dropping and the humidity increasing. So what we were able to do is increase or actually double the percentage of containment without the acreage growing substantially. Uh, so we're looking to do that again today. Rain has been falling steadily in the county north of San Francisco. Officials expect to find several bodies in the smoldering ruins of Lake County. The fire has destroyed some 600 homes. State and local officials toured the disaster area today to assess the damage and to determine if emergency funds and aid are needed. On Wall Street, the Dow by 140 points. More on these stories at townhall.com. There are times when people need a little extra money, honest, hardworking people, and some banks don't always make it fast or easy. But finally, there's a company who gets it who could help my listeners that need it, Avant. You simply go to avantoffer.com on your computer or phone to check your rate risk-free with no effect on your FICO score. Complete your application in minutes and the funds could be in your account as soon as tomorrow. If any of my listeners need a loan between $1,000 and $35,000, go to avantoffer.com. Avant will give you a 50 Amazon.com gift card after you make your first payment on time. For this offer and to check your rate risk free, go to AvantOffer.com and enter promo code BORROW. That's A V A N T Offer.com, promo code BORROW. AvantOffer.com, promo code BORROW. Loans made by WebBank and by affiliates Avant Incorporated. California loans offered by Avant are made under finance lenders license number 603K124. Funds are generally deposited via ACH for delivery next business day if approved by 4 30 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. Amazon is not a sponsor of this promotion. Other restrictions apply. See website for details. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has told Russian media he will not quit under foreign pressure, saying that it is a decision for the Syrian people. There is nothing new in this message from President Assad from the first days of the Syrian conflict when he was facing unarmed opposition from anti-government street protests. He's framed it as a battle against terrorism. What has changed is the timing and the circumstances. International attention is refocused on Syria because of the refugee crisis and the rise of IS. Mr. Assad and one of his main backers, Russia, are pointing to this as proof that their stance has been correct. But whatever he may say, many Syrians still see Mr. Assad as the primary problem. BBC correspondent Sebastian Usher reporting. Concerns about more flooding have prevented search and rescue teams from entering a narrow canyon at Utah's Zion National Park to look for a missing hiker. Six other hikers were killed by flash flooding on Monday. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. There has been no decision on the 911 calls of the Charleston Church shooting. A South Carolina judge made no final decision Wednesday morning after hearing arguments for an hour on whether documents from the shooting should be released to the media. A gag order issued earlier prevents the release of 911 calls, witness statements, and coroner reports. News organizations are challenging the order with a judge that doesn't want the case against suspect Dylan Roof jeopardized by pretrial publicity. A meeting for attorneys and jury selection is set for November 3rd. Valdior reporting. Police in suburban Daytona Beach, Florida, say a seven-hour standoff with a retired military man who is holding his family against their will has ended peacefully. Police in Ormond Beach say the man who is on medical disability fired shots in his home. Neighbors describe him as extremely kind but suffering from a combat-related brain injury. 
charges are pending. More on these stories at townhall.com. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to produce an endless supply of nano-sized silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. Silver Lungs. With the addition of our unique lung delivery system, respiratory infections are targeted directly, where traditional oral administration simply cannot reach. This pioneering method also preserves the original particle sizes and delivers your silver solution directly into the bloodstream. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Free Talk Live. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You may join us here toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian. And I'm Taryn P. Lupo. And Mark. Uh, we also, still to come here tonight, have to talk about the Colorado marijuana experiment. The numbers are in, and they're pretty stunning. Uh, we'll share those with you. But in other news related to the story we talked about last hour with Ahmed, the 14-year-old uh, high school student who was arrested in Irving, Texas, uh, because he had a clock that he built. He you know, was kind of a science geek guy, so he put this uh, self-made handcrafted clock together i think that just says it all a kid named Ahmed made a digital clock it scared a bunch of ignorant texans well at the very least it scared the english teacher who brought the police in and then they are proceeded it wasn't to just the police him. it had to it had to have gone through the administration too right Good point. Yeah, and, I don't know who I mean, called the cops. This wasn't, this wasn't the mistake of one person. This yeah. was a bunch of people saying, yeah, I see a man named Ahmed in a, in a digital clock. That's all I need. Yeah. What, what I'm interested is, I wonder how the teacher that turned him in and the administrator are going to treat him the next day. Yeah. Now that this thing's blown up, they're going to be like, three days oh, later. Oh, uh, we had to do this, or yeah, you know, so but, but we, we we didn't want to, but you know, we we it wasn't us; it was policy, or you know, yeah. some excuse they're going to backpedal. I mean, well, they got three days to figure out what to say because they're not. He's not coming back to school the next day. He's got a suspension. Oh, well, he's, he's still suspended. The, he's also got that time that he's going to be spending at the White House and uh, Facebook and Google. That's a good thing. He's got three a, days a off to go uh, tra- travel about. Yeah, and a variety of other places where he's been invited because he's a uh, you know smart kid. If he's smart, he'll drop the hell out of this school. Yeah, no doubt. You know, Ahmed, get your GED and go pursue something at one of these yeah. com- uh, companies. I mean, he's 14, he's legally able to be hired at this point. So if uh, Facebook or the other box was it, I think was in one of the other ones, yeah. if one of these companies that is offered to him, hey, come out, hang out with us. You'll learn you know? far more there than oh you ever God. will at high school. Yeah, I mean, he could, if he started at one of those uh, companies right now in a career at age 14, by the time he is 18 and would have graduated high school, he'd, have been, he'd be so experienced and skilled, he wouldn't need to go to college. You, you, I mean, there's no doubt why Americans are so dumbed down. At, at eight, at, on his 18th birthday, he would will be eligible to vote, but he'll still have to ask his teachers if he can go to the bathroom. <laughs> right? I mean, you know, like this is this is what we're uh, doing to our kids in I'm these government it. schools. I'm not doing it. Well, I don't want to support these government schools, and I think that uh, the best thing that could possibly— Well, I think this has really turned out to be a great thing for Ahmed because uh, he, he got a lot of support from people online. He was the number one story on Twitter, the number one trending tag, the I stand with Ahmed, I believe is what it was. And in other news that is sort of related, the story from the Daily Mail at dailymail.co.uk, the White House was locked down on a scare over an unattended package, which turned out to be a coffee mug. (laughs) White House briefly went into lockdown on Wednesday afternoon, that's today, after an unattended package was discovered in the park across the street. 
The object inside the package turned out to be a coffee mug, says the Secret Service. President Barack Obama was not on the premises when the lockdown went into effect at approximately 2.58 p.m. I wonder how they found out about the offending coffee mug. Usually they blow these things up, so that's <laughs> right? a good question. <laughs> The suspicious package was declared safe, and the lockdown ended about a half an hour later at 3.35. That time, the affected area was reopened. Now, no, the affected area wasn't affected by the package. It was affected by the police and the Secret Service, who overreacted uh, to a package. The Department of Homeland Security said the package was discovered in Lafayette Park. They closed public access to Lafayette Park and the entirety of Pennsylvania Avenue around the area as it and the explosive ordinance inspected the item, it and the explosive ordinance team, I guess, is what they mean. That's pretty much all there is to that story. But it reminds me of something that happened very similar here in Keene, New Hampshire. So just in case you think this can't happen where you live. Oh, well, this is the president. Of course they're going to overreact to a suspicious package. you got to protect the president. No, ca- no amount of caution is too much. Well, the same thing happened here in Keene, and no president was around for it. There was a backpack that had been left in the parking garage at the courthouse. Uh, and this is the same courthouse where there's like, this was when the courthouse was actually in the city building. Now they've since built a separate courthouse, but this was when it was actually together with the city building. And so this backpack was discovered by someone who called it in and the police arrived and they shut down, uh, the entire area, shut down that, that basically this is the heart of downtown Keene. They shut that down. There were, you know, news media reports were going out that the bomb squad is on the way in from Concord. Because I guess, you know, this is a small city. They don't have their own bomb squads. They had to call in the bomb squad from elsewhere. And so this was like a big deal, right? Oh, my God, there's a mysterious package, a backpack of some sort in the back, you know, (laughs) behind the. So it turned out that the backpack had within it a six pack of beer. And the story. Oh, and that's frightening enough. The story well, well, some kids could have gotten their hands on that. Uh, but the, sto- the story was that a homeless man had been called to court because, you know, the court system tends to pick on poor people and homeless people. So he had a court date. And, you know, you don't want to go through court with drugs in your bag. So, uh, so he left his backpack outside with the beer in it. Yeah. And that was it. That was it. That was all it was. Well, it, and that's not even it. There was a situation in Boston where the police department oh, yeah. blew up um, this these uh, these marketing things. The you talking light, about the Moonanites? The Moonanites, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Let me for you guys that don't remember this. This was about in two thousand five or six, I think. And Aqua Teen Hunger Far Back. Yeah, Aqua wow. Teen Hunger Force was about to put out its first movie, and Aqua Teen Hunger Force is a little uh it's a cartoon. really funny cartoon that's on in the middle of the night and it mainly attracts drunk college kids and I, I love it. So Aqua Teen Hunger Force did this promotional thing. Some of the guys working on the movie put out these Moonanite characters, which are characters from there, and they use these uh what are those those boxes guys? Light bright light bright, light bright yeah, boards. The low this bright. was two thousand and seven according to Oh, ah, it was Wiki. close. I said six, yeah. And uh the light bright and then they put them out and uh of course, anyone who had ever seen this cartoon, it's very obvious they're the Moonanites, but they called in the entire Boston police and the bomb squad. They shut down blocks and blocks of Boston. Yeah. And, and it was ridiculous. Oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. And then the artists that put these things together really had a great uh, time with it. Oh, my God. Uh, they, they, had a fu- they had a great, wonderful oh. time. And then a couple of weeks later, uh, the Boston PD goes ahead and blows up its own traffic counting box. <laughs> um, right, so just one of, these, right. one of these boxes, there's a t- tube across the road that counts how many cars go and that kind yeah. of thing. Well, this thing's dangerous. Let's thing? blow it up. Uh. And they blew that up. We've never uh, seen this before. Yeah, I don't and- remember when it, when it happened, uh, but it's been some time ago, I believe it's a, a place near Orlando, if it is in Orlando's PD, uh, some place near Orlando blew up a hobby horse uh, that was sitting uh. in the middle of a uh, <laughs> of a cul-de-sac. Oh my goodness. It's- so cops are, you know, I mean, if you've got the bomb disposal unit, everything looks like a nail, right? I mean, because <laughs> yeah. yeah. how often do they actually they get, get to, to blow something it. up? Well, I, what was the funniest part of this was, all right, so these two kind of teenage kids, I mean, uh, sorry, they, they were like in They're their, in their 20s, 20s. In their 20s. They get in all this trouble. People are like raving about how much the uh, the bomb force cost and how much they, you know, made uh, people right. in the city, how inconvenient it was. So, As though it were their fault. Yeah, like the cops' response was their yeah. fault, right? 
So what happened was uh, they finally did their uh, news conference. And when they came out, all they would talk about was 70s hairstyles. Yeah, the different hairstyles yeah, the of the 70s. 70s hairstyles. It was hilarious. They just made a whole joke of everybody being so pissed they off. They trolled at those guys so hard. <laughs> yeah, it was, the, it the, the press couldn't handle it. Ever. The, the press couldn't handle it. They'd never seen anything <laughs> like this. We actually had Zebler, who was one of the two. Oh, man, uh, so funny. We it was one of our down, on most show. downloaded shows ever. Yeah, you can actually get that. If you go to guests.freetalklive.com, that shows all the guests we've had. Well, not all of them, because honestly, I've not listed them all but uh <laughs> we don't have a guest on that often on free talk live so we've got a fairly comprehensive list of the guests that we've had on over the years his name is zebler z-e-b-b-l-e-r he's so at the bottom he's at the bottom of the page uh, so that was a pretty entertaining interview really uh bright guys toll free number tonight 855 450 free that allows you to join us here you can yeah. talk about anything even 70s anymore. hairstyles yeah or overreactions <laughs> from police departments there's plenty of those Maybe that happened in your area, something like that. Share, uh, share your story with us here. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. We also have Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Honestly, we canceled an appointment to have Jake euthanized to give Dynavite a chance to save this dog's life. Jake is an 8-year-old male Akita. His entire stomach and groin area, his face, his elbows, his ears, every orifice was just riddled with yeast and sores. We had a vet treat him, and Jake didn't respond at all. My son heard a commercial for Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Within four days, Jake started to heal. It was the most amazing thing I have ever seen. The yeast is receding, and now his belly is completely cleared up. It chokes me up. It brings tears to my eyes. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. No! That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. So I found out the other day that at guns80.com, a lot of people don't get the Ghost AR-15 rifle kits because they're afraid that they won't be able to do the machining work required to drill out and make ready the lower. Well, listen, guys, gals, I am not that good of a machinist, I promise you. But I was able to take a drill press with an XY table and knock this out in about 45 minutes. And in all honesty, mine looks really good. Go get yours. Don't be afraid. It's easy. Guns80.com. Go to guns80.com now. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV 
We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number for you is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We got Taryn Lupo in the studio with us here from TarynLupo.com. That's T A R R I N Lupo, L U P O, TarynLupo.com. Uh, you've also got a Twitter, Taryn, and you've been doing this uh, Periscope here tonight that yep. up until tonight I had only heard about. I actually thought to try to download it, but it's one of those programs that I guess is too fancy even for my phone, and I've got the Galaxy S3. Uh, so it won't even work on my phone. Last time I tried it, maybe they fixed it or something like that, but uh, it was one of those things. You know, have, have you ever seen that before where you try to go to the Play Store, you've, you've been told about an app, and you try to download it, and, so, and it just is not even there. Yeah, that's what happened uh, to me on uh, Cell 411. I just couldn't get it. Oh, no. Yeah, I just couldn't get it. I'm sorry to hear about that. I have Cell 4. That's Wait, we have the same phone. Well, I couldn't do it. I don't know. Try it again. I, I, think I know the app stores are weird sometimes. Um, yeah, basically I'm using, I'm experimenting with something called Periscope. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's kind of like, uh, Twitter's version of YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's a live YouTube. But live. Yeah. It's a, it's a live stream. It can save it. It saves your broadcast for like 24 hours and then they're gone. So Ah, unless you're pulling them all then, no, unless you're pulling them down and putting them somewhere else, they just vanish. I'd say it's more like, uh, like a bamboozer or something. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that, but but even bamboozer saves the videos. So it's even more ethereal or whatever. Right. You got to kind of constantly watch to see what's going on. Although some of the big people, uh, with video. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Some of the people pull it off, though, and put it on their own pages, their YouTube pages. Right. You can, down- you download, can download it. it. Yeah, you can download there. it. Okay. And so um, that's part of it. And then what it is is kind of people are watching. You you look up the area and you say, hey, I want to see what's going on in the Northeast. And then there'll be like 20 live feeds of you know yep. somebody at a concert, somebody walking through a forest. And I'm broadcasting tonight the behind the scenes from the radio show. So if you want to see what we do behind the scenes when no one's watching... Uh, in my view, it's really not it's, that it's interesting. It's super exciting. <laughs> it's super, super exciting. Um, I will be putting it out on Periscope right now. And now, uh, now we're doing super meta here. I've got. Uh, oh, look at I, this! I, you, you can do the Hall of Mirrors at this point oh, because weird. I've got on the studio computer Taryn <laughs> talking, and now he's pointing his Periscope at himself on the screen. So we can get, you, you know how the, they'll make sure the Hall of Mirrors there. where it's just infinite uh, <laughs> as you go into it. All right, that's enough of that. Oh, that was excellent. So um, uh, yeah, the the toll free number if you want to join us here it is eight fifty five four fifty free. I gotta say the quality looks good. Yeah, it's, it looks and nice. If you guys want to watch this, if you're listening right now, it, you just just have to add me on Twitter at Taryn Lupo, and you can watch our live stream behind the scenes. Perfect. Hey, yeah, Taryn, of- Taryn isn't exactly the easiest name in the world to yeah, spell. No, Taryn, that's why, that's why I spell it. T a r r i n l u p o. Is right. that the, is that the name your mama gave you? I yeah, mean, Taryn you know, Lupo. It was the early seventies. People drank, and, <laughs> and uh, you know there was a lot of drugs going around. So uh, they, my parents just made it up. You know, hippies. The so, last name sounds made up too. Uh, well, no, Lupo means something in Italian. It with wolf in, in Spanish, yeah, I think. That's that's, that's yeah. very good. It means right. wolf in Italian. So yeah, I didn't make that one up. But hey, this this show is apparently all about me. So let's start. Uh, let's yeah, talk well, to let's Ian. talk a little more about you, Taryn. Uh, <laughs> oh, you've got boy. a new video up over on your YouTube channel. It's about gas engines and a festival. There's a festival for gasoline engines. Yeah. So, um, real quick, uh, over at my uh, YouTube channel, and you can see this at TarynLupo.com, I went to a local festival which uh, shows off gas engines, like all these antique engines. I had no idea what this was about. So, I walked in, and, uh, you know, these guys have, like, antique sawmills, and they have antique, you know, laves, and these things just running on these engines that go pop, 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 you know, the old gas engines. 
So it was really cool. I like to spotlight some of the cool things going on in New Hampshire for people that want to move up for the Free State Project. Uh, I like to kind of show a little slice of life and uh, hopefully encourage people to come. It's your first year. Uh, you're only, what, a few months in? How many How many months now? Three I months? I think like three or four. Three or four months into your first year here in New Hampshire. Mark and I just crossed our nine-year uh, mark a couple weeks ago. And how's it been so far, Taryn? You mentioned the Free State Project. The idea of that is to uh, encourage liberty-loving people like libertarians, uh, uh, voluntarists, to move to New Hampshire and to get active to achieve more liberty in our lifetime. You know, what's your uh, three, four-month retrospective? I mean, how's it been going? Well, so far, I moved at the perfect time, and the weather has been incredible. I go out and I hike every day. Um, I It almost really doesn't rain much here at all. Oh, I and, don't know about that. Well, I mean, I, not not... <laughs> much like i can go out and hike every day it's not yeah. been like oh well it's rained for a week um yeah, it's the, not like florida where you can yeah. set your watch to the the, rain. the the weather's amazing here right now uh i love it because i'm sick of the heat from savannah this is perfect yeah right now it's getting to, and, it's the end of summer it's getting down to like the 50s at night and 80s still during the day so it's nice and warm it's very nice yeah but you've been so you've been enjoying so, the weather. What about the community? What about the I, activists? I love the activists. There's always something going on if you really want to get involved. Um, I've been kind of working a lot, so I haven't been getting involved as mm-hmm. much as I should. But I've been also out spotlighting just living here, like going to all the little festivals, checking out the towns. I haven't completely decided where I'm going to land yet. I'm still shopping. But uh, I, I love it, man. It was the best decision I ever made to come here. I think it's great what you're doing with your YouTube. At, and by the way, it's YouTube. Uh, just go there and search for Taryn Lupo. You'll find his channel. But it's cool that you're going to all these festivals and giving a slice of regular New Hampshire life. Because, you know, a lot of people come to New Hampshire and they'll get active. So they're out doing cop block or whatever it is they're doing. And that's more of like activist kind of video. But this isn't activism necessarily. This is just you experiencing life as what a normal life would be in New Hampshire. I think that's right. useful for I, people. I find out a lot of questions I get when I talk to people about moving to New Hampshire is they say, what's it like to live there? I mean, they've seen all the activism videos. They've seen mm-hmm. all the pot videos. They've seen all the, you know, and they there's not many videos out just kind of spotlighting what life's like. So I think that is a good form of activism. Yeah. So I, I think being a good neighbor, getting out into the community and being normal that people approach me and then find out I'm a free stater or surprised, you know, that mm-hmm. I'm not s- stirring up any trouble or whatever. Got three heads. Yeah. And uh, so I, I think it is a good form of activism. I, I It's just kind of where I'm at right now in my life. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people who will uh, make the move here as part of the Free State Project, and they, you know, the, the first thing they do is settle in, and they get a job, and they, you know, have to work at that and, and put some roots down before they can really, you know, get more active, and that's that's understandable. Yep. So join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Got some good news for you from, well, I guess you could say it's good news. There's, you could argue it's bad news as well, depending. Uh, the Daily Caller has the story from dailycaller.com, and that is that Colorado has become the first state in history to collect more taxes from marijuana than from alcohol. Hmm. The Colorado Department of Revenue, this from Jonah Bennett over at the Daily Caller, according to recently released figures, just brought in $70 million in taxes relating to marijuana compared to less than $42 million for alcohol taxes over the course of one year. This Wednesday, Colorado is declaring, uh, that's today, a marijuana tax holiday, meaning that for a single day, taxes on marijuana items will be suspended. Go load up, boys. Hell yeah. Um, so, <laughs> you know, what this what this says to me is is that, look, I, I don't think that it's, I, I'm not excited as I could possibly be that people are running out and smoking pot. However, I would say, you know, If you think that it's a bad thing that people are smoking pot instead of uh, alcohol, if you think it's bad that people are smoking more pot than they are drinking alcohol, I'd really like to have that conversation with you because I find alcohol to be a pretty dangerous and scary drug. Do people really think that? I guess they might be out there. Oh, I'm sure they do. Our toll-free number, if you want to join us here, is 855-450-FREE. Maybe you live in Colorado. You'd like to give your uh, retrospective on the last couple of years. It's Free Talk Live. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water, and your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. 
That's ALKAVision.com. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Owe oh, $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. I am a 47-year-old female and had a heart attack in 2005. This is Alice from New Jersey. I still get angina, even with four stents. I was taking nitro two or three times a week. The very first day after taking heart and body extract, the chest pain was gone. Now I don't wear a nitro patch. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can join us toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-450. Three seven three three. We've also got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to uh, join us there. In fact, if you do that, you'll tend to sound better than you would on the phone. Uh, you can also join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com. You can actually create the content right there on the front page of the site. So the story we started the show tonight with actually happened to also be the top story on our website as voted and submitted by I don't know who it was. I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me. But one of you (laughs) did that, and then several of you voted for it. So thank you for that. You can uh, get interactive over at freetalklive.com. And also, uh, we're going to continue here. We will take your calls about whatever happens to be on your mind. The news coming from Colorado, though, and some will see this as good news. Some could argue it's not good news. Because I'll go ahead and argue that it's not good news from this perspective. That is that I don't want to see the state 
with more money. I don't want to see them enriched. I don't want to see them have more uh, capital to use to oppress people, which is ultimately what the state tends to do with its money. So I don't like that. But I understand that in order to end prohibition, this is how it's going to have to happen. At least that's the way it's happened thus far. Uh, it's likely going to be what motivates $70 million is going to be a motivating factor to other state governments because that's what Colorado made from taxes on marijuana in the last year, $70 million. You take that $70 million, you hold that under the nose of politicians and in other states, and they're going to start to jump to this whole legalization thing. Yeah, because up to this point, um, really what all it was for politicians is like, uh, you know, you tell them about taxes and they just, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. Well, now they're beginning to see politicians in other states getting more money. And you know, they could get a piece of that. Ultimately, these little slime balls have to build bridges and pave roads yeah. and, and uh, you know, upgrade schools and do the variety of things they're doing. And they're busy funneling money off to people they know and people that paid them off and all that stuff. And, you know, they have a constant insatiable desire for more money. So the money in the case of the marijuana, and I don't want to see them get any money either. I mean, these are these people are, I mean, politician is synonymous with criminal in our society, but a liar and thief at the very least. And, uh, you know, I don't want to see them get any more money, but I do understand that, uh, you know, that th th this is of a, a value to them. Plus, I'm never going to vote or root for less human freedom. So mm -hmm. in the case of I consider people not going to jail over marijuana and paying a small amount of the transaction fee, I consider that a net plus. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, I reluctantly support legalization. If I were in a state legislature, uh, I would I would vote for it, even though ultimately it is creating a legal structure around marijuana. Usually it's the uh, like the alcohol bureaucracy or whatever, the Liquor Commission, who handles this. But it, it increases their power, it increases their, their control, it increases their budget. I don't agree with that. But at the same time, I'd rather end prohibition if well, I can. And that makes it worthwhile. Do you really um, do you think any state's going to come up with a complete de decrim bill? Because all I ever hear is, let's legalize pot, and then let's give all the power to the state and all the money. How yeah, about a, just decriminalizing it so it's just not illegal? I like that approach, uh, but Taryn. That's, I'm curious how many states would go for it. Well, I mean, we've seen decriminalization in a lot of places, actually. Here in the Northeast, uh, Maine has had it since the 70s. Vermont and Massachusetts ha got it within the last five years. And what about Rhode Island and Connecticut? They've had they have the, it too? They have some so, level of decriminalization. Wait, does that mean it's it's not illegal and the state doesn't make any money off it? No. Uh, no, what, what it, it means, means is something different for each state. What it, well, okay, so decriminalization, what that means is that it is less criminalized. So uh, decriminalization can simply be reducing the criminal penalties, and that's uh, most frequently what you'll see with decriminalization. So uh, possessing an ounce or more in Massachusetts used to have been a felony, for instance, uh, perhaps, and then they decriminalized it down to uh, up to, excuse me, uh, less than an ounce. Less than an ounce was, I think, a misdemeanor. They decriminalized that down to a violation. So now if the police catch you in Massachusetts with up to an ounce of marijuana, they can issue you a ticket. It's like a hundred dollar ticket or something like that. And the thing is, they whatever they were writing this law or this statute, they didn't put in an effective enforcement mechanism. So anyone who doesn't actually pay the ticket, they can't do anything about. It's and so, a civil fine, not a criminal fine. Well, right. The, I've, I've seen them not get rid of pot laws, but they make the fine like five bucks. So yeah. it's it's Arbor basically like not worth worth the time right but they what can't I'm prosecute is... this basically so if you don't pay the fine they can't do anything to you over it so ultimately up to an ounce of marijuana in massachusetts is essentially totally decriminalized you can do whatever you want i mean if the cops catch you with it they'll probably confiscate it but that's like the worst thing that's going to happen well what's curious is now that other states have seen the massive money that colorado makes is it realistic anymore? Are they all going to be greedy and be like, oh, well, we want all this tax money too? Or do you think, is it possible that they can be completely decriminalized where the state's not making money and it's actually free? God, I wish I could say that New Hampshire was going to be the first state to actually totally decriminalize marijuana or to the point where I think Rich Paul uh, has used the term uh, to, to, repeal, to repeal, to repeal prohibition. Like that would be the ideal. Decrim's good. Because it doesn't create that legal structure, uh, but repealing prohibition would be the way to go. Because if you repeal prohibition, then you make it legal to grow it, 
then you make it, you know, de facto legal, right? It's not illegal, so it's therefore legal. Uh, it would then be legal to grow, it would be legal to distribute, it would be legal to sell, it would be legal to share, to trade, whatever. And uh, decriminalization doesn't necessarily address all of those things. Decrim might just make it uh, mostly legal to have a small amount, but it would still be illegal to sell, it would still be illegal to grow. You can decriminalize all of those things, and you can decriminalize them sometimes further than others. But you're right, Taryn, that uh, that money, that, that $70 million dollars, is going to be a very, very powerful stimulant for these politicians, and they're not going to want to... Well, I mean, they know they're missing out, right? Like, right. the $70 million, I don't know what percentage of it is is marijuana tourism, but it's there's a chunk of it. Like, well, s- some of that is people who travel to Colorado to get high. I'm yeah. curious. Yeah, I'm curious to see... You know, everybody uh, is all excited because Colorado was in the news, and it was it became this tourism thing. But as other states legalize, that's, I would imagine, going to slow down. Why would people still go there when you could just smoke it in your own state? Exactly. Uh, so the states that do it sooner rather than later will have, I think, a larger uh, boost in their in their revenue because they'll be the, the one place to go to for this kind of thing. So if New Hampshire could do that before the other states, like New Hampshire's behind the ball right now, and we all moved here as part of the Free State Project, the idea of moving liberty-minded people to the same place so we can have a greater effect on changing the system. thing with, uh, with New Hampshire is it's a slow system to change. And that's a good thing because it means that the government won't get larger in the same way, in the same, at the same speed as other governments. But it also means it's a little bit more challenging to make the government smaller here. But once that does happen, once we see that happening... Uh, then I think that we'll, and I think that we're on the way there. There's a mm-hmm. person in New Hampshire, one politician who's standing in the way of any decriminalization. We we could have had decriminalization of marijuana this year in New Hampshire if it weren't for the governor. She was promising to veto the decriminalization, so it did not ultimately happen. But it passed overwhelmingly in the state house. Eighty percent of the state house of the House of Representatives here voted for marijuana. Decriminalization. It's on its way. Eighty percent. That's a that is an indicator when you've got Republicans and Democrats coming together on this. That eighty percent. I mean, that's almost unfathomable amount of uh, of support for this. So it's going to happen, and it'll happen sooner as we can get more liberty loving people here. So Taryn, the key is to get more people who love freedom to join the Free State Project at freestateproject.org and move here sooner rather than later so we can get this stuff done. Then maybe New Hampshire will be the first uh, repeal of prohibition. Because I I would love to see that happen, but it's pretty pie in the sky to think that it actually can happen anytime soon. Odds are good it's going to be legalization because the state people want money. And the New Hampshire state people are no different from from the rest of them. They're gonna want this. Uh, they're gonna want that influx of cash. Yeah, and their kids are smoking pot already. Oh yeah, you better believe they uh, they absolutely are. In fact, one of the city councilors here in Keene, his son just got busted for an ounce of uh, cannabis wax. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can join us here, and you can bring up whatever happens to be on your mind. More about the the dollars and cents. In Colorado, seventy million dollars on uh, marijuana in taxes compared to forty-two million in alcohol. It's free talk live. Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people constantly complaining that your TV is too loud? Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't want to wear a hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try Listen Clear a life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can adjust Listen Clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And right now, you can try Listen Clear absolutely risk-free with free shipping. We'll even give you free batteries for life. So call now, 1-800-719-9349. Listen Clear is lightweight and completely hassle-free, and it's practically invisible. Call for your 100% risk-free home trial with free shipping and free batteries for life. For free information, call now. 1-800-719-9349. That's 1-800-719-9349. 1-800-719-9349. 
KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Why would you go anywhere else? KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free water purification kit for a limited time with any body armor package. Go to KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I Armor.com. Come and take it. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Most of us already know that taking a fish oil supplement to boost omega-3s is a good idea. But did you know that about 60% of Americans are actually deficient in omega-3s? Did you know that most fish oil products contain only about 25% omega-3s and the remaining 75% is undesirable fish fat? Heck, did you know that more than 90% of fish oil supplements sold in the USA are not even made here? If you want to boost your omega-3s using the finest American-made fish oil, check out Nutrigold Fish Oil Supplements on www.fishoil.best. Nutrigold fish oils are independently five-star certified and guaranteed to be exceptionally pure. That means no more fish burps. Best of all, just one Nutrigold fish oil capsule contains more omega-3s than four standard fish oil capsules. Go to www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497 and use promo code BESTFISHOIL to get a free one-month supply. That's www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497. A revolution in body protection has arrived only at FortressSurvivalLLC.com. Introducing the revolutionary patented Level 3 Bulletproof Vest. 100% Kevlar, 100% American made. Concealable, fully adjustable, and the lowest price on the market. Adult size normally $289.99, now just $250. Kid size normally $239.99, now just $200. Get affordable protection with a Level 3A Bulletproof Vest from FortressSurvivalLLC.com. For thou art my rock in my fortress. Psalm 31.3. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Colorado sets a record. $70 $70 million collected in taxes in one year compared to $42 million for alcohol. Amazing numbers. Yeah, that's um, it, it's a big difference. It's not even close. We'll continue well, that discussion here. You can join us uh, toll-free, 855-450-FREE. Whether you're in Colorado or not, maybe you want to give us your perspective, uh, you're certainly welcome to do that. And wherever you are in the world, if you can take delivery from Amazon, you can use saveitpurse.com to get 20% off or more on pretty much anything you might want to buy from and, Amazon. And Amazon has pretty much anything you need yeah. for life. I just saved $60 yesterday on Purse. I on what? Love, I bought a, a camcorder. Cause, you <gasps> People know, have been asking about big dollar items. So what, yes. did you, what was the total? That, I, uh, I, the total was... Um, it was normally a $260 camcorder, yep. and I bought a battery, too. So it was about a $300 bill. Yep. I got 23% off. It ended Sweet. up being like 60 something dollars, uh, 58 or $60. Yeah, I, I don't remember it exactly. But How long did you have to wait for the order to get filled? <laughs> like an afternoon. It was That's it. awesome. So I, I'm just completely addicted to purse, it's and so I cool. haven't bought, you know, because people were like, oh, if you spend a lot of money, you're not going to get the big discount. I, you know, you're going to find a buyer because... I've just kind of been buying nickel and dime stuff. Uh-huh. And then I was like, I'm going to put it up and immediately. Boom. 
I mean, immediately. That it was, afternoon. It was that afternoon. Incredible. And uh, it saved me a fortune. Save at purse.com. If you don't want to save money, then, you know, just ignore the message. Uh, if you want to save 20%, <laughs> if you want to save 40%, that's my recent purchase, 40% you got a 40%? on a Blu-ray. I saved 40% on no a Blu-ray. Way. It's a Blu-ray. I don't need it quickly. You wow, know, you got a 40% sit, discount? It's just going to sit on a shelf, so I'm like, okay, I'll just put this at 40%, see if someone uh-huh. buys it. Well, it took a few days, but someone bought it, and I saved 40% using save at purse.com. The catch is you have to use Bitcoin. So if you don't yet have Bitcoin, well, you can go to expresscoin.com and get some. And then go to saveatpurse.com. Actually, you don't even have to wait. You can just go to saveatpurse.com and learn about how it works. Get signed up for your account. When you sign up through saveatpurse.com, Free Talk Live will get a very small portion of any purchases that you make from that point forward at saveatpurse.com. As we go to your phone calls and thoughts, Jack is on the line listening in Hawaii. Jack, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm calling about a... uh medical marijuana collective that got uh, raided here last week oh no yeah and um this guy has been uh doing this for all the last eight months and he was going by the rules in the book and he was even charging sales tax on uh medicine he was selling and uh-huh. why he was fine with that but uh they Could- seemed to think they needed to go in and Take everything he had. And Who was it that raided happened. him? Was it the Hawaii government or the feds? No, it was the local vice that um, raided him. And um, oh, he's had other issues with them in the past where they came and took all his plants that were Ugh. legally grown. And he filed a lawsuit against them and the mayor back in 2013. And of course, the judge just threw it out pretty much right away and nothing came up of it so but, they got uh, away with stealing his plants that he was supposedly legally growing under the medical program oh yeah he had the right amount of plants and he, he was growing on uh, quite a few permits here you can grow on uh, be a caregiver and grow on people's permits and he was all uh followed the rules and had the right amount of plants but they seem to think that he could go in and steal all his plants well they seem to be right well, what they get out of uh, yeah. stealing it, other than just sort of hassling the guy, what they get out of the uh, the theft? Well, they kind of denied they took it. They got plants, Where, Mark, if, a bunch of plants. Well, they're probably just going to yeah. destroy them by burning oh, yeah, them, right. smoking them, maybe yeah, selling them. They to could other people oh, dry them out oh, and sell yeah. them. Come on, it's pretty corrupt here. But now he's in jail, and uh, <gasps> he just really? had his rank Monday on this uh, raid. What is the charge? The charge is um, promoting a detrimental drug, is what they call it here. And it was a narcotics uh, warrant they served on his property, and they got 49 pounds of dry, 134 plants. And some, I, I'm uh, curious. I don't. Well, this is the first time we've ever heard about the medical program in, in Hawaii. Uh, how long has it been in play there? Oh, it's been here for 15 years wow. now. I haven't got dispensaries. They just now voted that in, and that's going to start happening next year. So wait, this guy uh, wasn't a dispensary? He was just a grower? It's a collective, it's called. They have these in California, too, and it's a way around. It's a loophole in the law. It's a way around the dispensary, Hmm. and it's where you can have um, people that grow on permit put their excess on consignment, and he sells it to... um, members of his collective you have to be a member oh uh, okay it's so like a co-op for uh, for marijuana yeah yeah it okay. sure is huh. it, it's being done in other states and doesn't seem to be any problem so i take it this but, guy is uh, not going to take the plea deal and he's going to go to court and challenge this thing oh no he's ready to fight it he's Good. a big time marijuana activist here on the island and uh he had a lawyer help him set this up back when he got it going and uh, to follow all the rules. What's but, his name? Uh, well, I missed if you said it before. What, what's the guy's okay. name? Yeah. yeah, his name is Michael Ruggle. That name sounds familiar. Was this the church guy, uh, the marijuana church guy? Um, no, that was Roger Christie. Okay. And um, this is a kind of similar in the way the state said that, you know, you're fine, you can do what you're doing. 
and then they come in and, and then they uh, knock and it. raid and steal that's terrible yeah. uh, did, did he get video yeah. or anything is there any evidence of the uh, the raid happening oh i'm sure he did uh he's uh, pretty good about that right, good. and um not only that he did get his <sighs> bail down from 84,500 dollars to 36,000 oh wow and wow. a bunch of the charges were dropped too, but uh, at the same time, you know, a lot of people now cannot get their medicine, and it was the only place on the island for permitted uh, really? people to get medicine. Yeah, because there's no dispensaries yet here until next year. Fifteen years yeah. into the program, there's no dispensaries. Yeah. I thought it was bad here in uh, New Hampshire where we had med- a medical marijuana pass in 2012. And it is now 2015, and we still don't have dispensaries open yet here. Oh, my God. Um, But 15 years. Wow, you've really topped that one. No, yeah, it's crazy. And now the way they're doing this dispensary deal is it's going to cost so much in permit fees and taxes to get a store going that they're going to have to charge way more than the medicine's worth. And a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford to buy it. They'll stay in the black market. Yeah, they'll stay in the black market. Yeah, no, this guy was a real reasonable prices, and uh, he was helping a lot of sick people, and um, yeah. Well, just, it sounds uh, like the flowered curtain is alive and well. Yeah, there. it is, you know, and uh, Hawaii's got some of the worst cannabis laws in the nation. It's a shock, days. man. I mean, you'd think Hawaii would be a yeah. little more laid back about yeah, that Yeah, I mean, for, good, for goodness sake there, for a while, the best marijuana was named Maui Waui. It was. A long oh, time ago. We do grow some of the best here, that's for sure, year-round. Jack, thanks for calling uh, and sharing the story. If you you wouldn't mind, please keep us in the loop as this case develops. I'm interested in hearing more about it. Uh, Thank you for the call tonight. I really appreciate it. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And this is one of the reasons why the Free State Project is such an important idea. There just aren't enough of liberty-minded people around the whole United States. We need to concentrate our efforts in one place so we don't have to deal with this garbage like this where, you know, the law gets passed. And then it just sits there for 15 years and they haven't done what they're supposed to do yet because they're the government. What are you going to do? Hold them liable? You can't hold them liable for not uh, following their own rules. They're allowed to break their own rules. Basically. You're stuck. That's what they do. We got Drew. He's the, on you're the You're the line. only one that has to follow their rules. Drew, uh, we're calling from somewhere. You're on Skype. Hello. Hey, um, I was just calling to see if you guys have heard anything about this. I think it's pretty sure it's a, a scam for Bitcoin. Um, basically, it's an email that says Global Advisors Bitcoin Investment, and they claim if you send Bitcoin to this uh, Bitcoin address that in about a month or two, they'll send you 150% <laughs> back. Um, it looks yeah. really nice. Someone could easily um, easily fall for it. Basically, they give you the QR code and the, uh, the full address, but there's nowhere, any word that you can sign up to tell them where to send it back. So it's, it's a it total says, scam. Uh, well, I don't know scam. if it's a total scam or not, uh, but I would say that it's, uh, it, it sounds fishy. Well, um, if you, if you, number one, it sounds yeah. fishy. It's too good to be true. 150% uh, interest rate is insane. You got to be and, careful of anybody who says that they're going to uh, make you money in the future. Yeah. And uh, right. Especially if you don't know who they are. Hey, send us some Just of this send us Bitcoin. Some money. It's completely anonymous and you can't reverse the transactions, but trust us, we'll send it back to you. <laughs> hey, Drew, I don't know if you had more to share. You're welcome to here in hour number three. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. If you expect secure, privacy oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all in one multi language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Want gold but also want to stay digital and decentralized on the Bitcoin blockchain? Anthem Vault, providing trusted, world-class vaulting, has your answer with Hayek Gold. Digital, spendable gold inspired by economist and free market philosopher F.A. Hayek. Each Hayek is worth one gram of gold and is available right now at AnthemVault.com. Sign up today at AnthemVault.com with promo code FREEDOM to earn six months of free storage and 5% off all margins for life. Hayek Gold at AnthemVault.com. Get yours today. 
Hi, this is Walt Augustino. You actually just turned on the LRN. This? It was yesterday, I believe. Hey, it's Jared. So we're out on the streets of downtown Manchester, New Hampshire. New Hampshire, you know, the state where they have the first primary. You'd think that people in New Hampshire would know something about, I don't know, the candidates running for president, right? Well, we'll find out. We're hitting the streets to ask them, well, who these guys are and what they think of them. So tell me who this candidate is. I have no clue. Do you know who this is? No, I've never seen her. Carolyn. Carolyn, that's right. And last name? I have no idea the last name. Um, Laurel Carly or something? Laurel. Laurel. Laurel Carly? I don't know. Um, I don't know her. Um, Feinstein. Can you tell me this person's name and what the first thing you think of? I don't know that fella. Bernie Carson, yeah. Bernie Carson. What do you think about Bernie Carson? He's loony. Do you know who this guy is? I do not. You don't know who this guy is? He's, uh, he's a presidential candidate. No idea what his name might be? No, I've never heard of him. I think that's Crickly Cr something, or Mick, it's a Mick something, right? That is not Barack Obama. <laughs> Car Cartwright or something. Car ben Cartwright, you're right. I got I got a shirt with his name on it. Do you know who this is? That would be Jeb Bush. I think it's Jed. Jed? You think it's Jed? Yes. Uh, what do you think of Jeb? Uh, yeah, pretty soulless. Soulless? Yeah, yeah. He's, you know, he's a typical politician. Um, George Bush? We don't need another Bush. Uh, boy, kind of looks like Bernie. Bernie. By, uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, I'm not sure. It is Bernie Sanders. It, 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 his hair is a little more uh, in control than it usually is. <laughs> wow, he looks like a nerd. Well, who's going to be his vice president? Uh, who would you pick? Elizabeth Warren. You like Elizabeth? Yeah. Have you ever heard the hashtag feel the burn? Yes, I have. So does that give you a hint as to who this is? No. No. No idea. No, no clue. Uh, Bernie? Bernie and Phil's? Run, Liz, run. This presidential candidate. Hillary Clinton. Everyone knows Hillary Clinton. Um, she's scary. Do you know what her middle name is? Rodham. Rodham. Do you know what that means? You're not a fan of Hillary. No. Well, you know, if if it was more like Bill Clinton, you know, Rod her, I could see. Who are you voting for in 2016? I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, who is also, is she a Republican too? I believe she's a Republican, yeah. She is a Republican, I think, yeah. Uh, he's a moron. That's, uh, um, uh, what's his name there? Um, <clears throat> Trump. That's Donald Trump. Donald Trump. What do you think about Donald? I think he's an idiot. Somebody said he acts like a third a third grader. I think that's about right. Who's this guy? Oh, that's um. Oh, what's I know it's Trump. Put put Trump's picture down there. I'll stomp on him. I'm a Republican, so I think he is a Democrat. You're a Republican. Yes, I'm a Republican. That is um, Caitlyn Kardashian. Do you think we should maybe have like a hashtag like transsexual people should be able to run for president? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Sarah Palin. Not Sarah Palin. Hashtag. Trans president or something? I don't know. Hashtag trans president. I think we should do that. Hashtag trans president. Who to you is more attractive? <laughs> I would not vote for her though. Why? I think she spends too much time on her hair and makeup. You know, I suppose probably the, uh, the woman on the ladder uh, below there. Are you a Democrat or a Republican? I'm a, I'm a Republican. You're a Republican, and you, but you're pro-choice. Yes. And you want more welfare. Yes. And you're a Republican. Yes. I don't know. I like red hair. Tony, is there any way that you could spare a couple of dollars? Because I'm in need for some money.
Townhall.com. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 0937. Free Talk Live. It's Free Talk Live. You may join us here toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Inviting you to the website. Please enjoy the features you'll find waiting for you there at freetalklive.com. In the studio with you tonight, you've got me, Ian. And Taryn P. Lupo. And Mark. Uh, So a little bit more here on the marijuana situation in Colorado. Things are looking great for Colorado. They are now, uh, the marijuana sales, the revenue from the taxes on the marijuana has surpassed alcohol by a lot. Alcohol is $42 million in the last year. Marijuana, $70 million. That's more than 50% uh, higher. That's like 70% higher or whatever than uh, than 42 million. It's yeah. incredible. Uh, so that's happened, and it's only taken two years. Because remember, this got passed back in 2012, went into effect, I believe, in 2013. Uh, so it's only two years, and they're already at $70 million. It, will it go up next year? I don't know. It remains I, to be seen. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, maybe the novelty of uh, going to Colorado to smoke pot or eat uh, marijuana edibles might go away, or it might only increase. I don't know the answer. It seems like states around the country would say, you know, this is a real easy way to cut budgets Mm. and make money because uh, Colorado has made money on this. Even when you consider the fines and all that stuff, you know, now there's not the infrastructure around fining people. It's just businesses sending them money. And that's that's a lot better for them. Yeah, that's a good point. You don't have to bring people into court because certainly if you go to court and you watch arraignments, you can try this where you live. Uh, if you go to court and you sit there and watch, go, find out when they're ha- having the arraignments, go in there and you'll see person after person just paraded in and they're there for marijuana or they're there for an open container violation or drinking underage or some other non-crime where there's not actually a victom. Uh, when that happens, they, they're they just ringing that cash register to the tune of hundreds of dollars per person. But yeah, you're right, Mark. they got to pay for all that structure. they got to pay for the court and the bailiffs and all that stuff just to collect the money from those poor people. And now those people can just pay money into the retail structure instead, and the state collects money without having to lift a finger, uh, basically. Because and that's all what them. we've been telling them yeah. all along. They yeah, just but, you know, didn't want to listen to it. But the money goes to different animals, I would think, because right now— most police forces exist. Um, massive amounts of money come in from these these stupid drug laws. They collect, sure. you know, arresting people, taking their stuff. What happens when that shifts, where it's no longer illegal? That money then goes to politicians and their other pet projects. I don't know if the police will necessarily get that money. Yeah, um, I yeah, the, the police probably aren't going to benefit from this as much, and that's one of the reasons why the police well, rally police aren't against it. Police are supposed to benefit. Yeah. They're supposed to be a service organization, yeah. right? Like that's what we're told. Um, we're just here to follow orders. It's, we follow orders, or people die. Well, that's why they rally against these changes right. because but they but they go to the state houses and they say, no, no, yeah. no, we can't allow marijuana to be legal, and they want the money. They well, want to keep the money flowing into their departments. It's at least part of the reason. It absolutely it's is a huge conflict of interest. I don't see how, you know, if if my salary comes from your arrest, how 
that's fair at all. One of the things I'd like to see happen here in New Hampshire, and there was actually a proposal that would have brought some of this about last year. It didn't go forward, but eventually it might, is to actually prohibit government bureaucrats from coming in and testifying at uh, at hearings. Unless so, they're invited. Uh, that was the that was the proposal from, I think, the last year. It didn't go anywhere, but at some point it, it might. But yeah, what happens uh, here in New Hampshire, and I'm sure this happens everywhere, is the government bureaucrats are the ones who are Johnny on the spot showing up to these uh, government hearings at the state house. Whenever there's a proposal to, let's say, uh, you know, increase the government's control, the cops will come out and they'll, you know, talk in favor of it. If there's a proposal to re- repeal some sort of law or whatever, then the bureaucrats come and they testify against it. And half the time, or probably 90% of the time, they're on the government payroll. They're actually at their job, and their job for that day is to go to the state house and testify, whereas the rest of us have to take the day off from work. Right. And then we go and we lose a day of work because we go and testify in favor of freedom. And so it's a totally imbalanced, screwy system that is it completely favors the side of the bureaucrat. Well, it's the same with a speeding ticket. If there's a speeding ticket, if a police officer writes you a speeding ticket yep. or whatever, you go to court to fight for your license and your money and your insurance and all these things you're going to fight for. You're taking off of work, potentially getting yourself in trouble with your boss and all these kind of things. The cop gets time and a half. That's so, true. I mean, you know, the system is rigged. Yeah, it is. And it's not going to be easy to change it, but we're working on it here in New Hampshire, and we're having wonderful success thus far. You can always go to freestateproject.org to uh, learn more about what's happening here. A uh, little bit more about the story. They're taking a marijuana tax sales uh, holiday, meaning that today in Colorado, you were able to buy as much marijuana as you liked, apparently, without having to pay tax on it, which I imagine brought the price down significantly because when you look at the receipts uh, for marijuana sales, it's a chunk. There's a good you, chunk of that that's I, taxes. I've never actually looked. Is it more than like 50%? It's, a, it's high. I don't remember what it is in, in Colorado, but it's probably getting close to that, uh, if not not quite there. I know that in Washington, they have a three-tier tax system where it's 25% taxed at the grower level, 25% taxed at the wholesale level, and then 25% taxed at the retail level. At least that's my understanding. Please correct me if I'm, I'm wrong on that. Uh, 855-450 free. Mason Tavert, the director of communications for the Marijuana Policy Project, told the Daily Caller in a statement, quote, Marijuana taxes have been incredibly productive over the past year, so this tax holiday is a much-deserved day off. This will be the one day out of the year when the state won't generate significant revenue. Over the other 364 days, it will bring in tens of millions of dollars that will be reinvested in our state. The total amount raised in tax revenue in fiscal year 2014 to 2015 was just under $70 million, $69 million, $898,000. Part of the reason why marijuana has completely outpaced alcohol in bringing in revenue is that marijuana users spend much more on the drug than Americans spend on alcohol or tobacco. According to new market research from Marijuana Business Daily, yeah, that's a thing, uh, <laughs> the average it's only going to grow. Yeah. The average amount spent on marijuana in states where the drug is legal is eighteen hundred dollars per year. Alcohol spending is pegged at only four hundred and fifty dollars, and tobacco at three hundred and fifteen, representing a major gap. Americans, on average, only spend about six hundred and two dollars on personal care products and services, almost a third of what is spent on marijuana. The majority of cannabis users use the drug daily. A total of 82% of medical users partake daily, compared to 57% of recreational users. And Tavert said that, quote, it's crazy how much revenue our state used to flush down the drain by forcing marijuana sales into the underground market. It's even crazier that so many states are still doing it. Tax revenue is just one of many good reasons to replace marijuana prohibition with a system of regulation. Oh. Right, they can see what's going to happen right now. Colorado, Washington, is it uh, Alaska? District- That's right. Where, where DC, are they? DC, as well. yep. They can they see what's Oregon. going on. I think Oregon did it too. Oregon, yep. Um, so the, the whole western but seaboard. It makes me wonder how can these businesses stay profitable when you're talking about them losing fifty to seventy five percent of their money to tax. Um, it's just when a I plant. can just go buy weed from the guy down the street for probably. 
a quarter of the price well, that grows it's it himself? It's a plant. I mean, it's not that expensive to grow weed, right? Like it's the difference not is, that is expensive. that um, I mean, no, but okay. I mean the taxes on it and and for well, it to just to set up a business, there's a massive amount of expense. Yeah, well, I, Taren, I see that. So um, I'm wondering how much of this is just going to be done underground and there's people still some being done. You can buy uh, roll your own cigarettes and you can cut out a great deal of the yeah. um, cost of cigarettes, and people do that, but. The most people, most people, go to the convenience store and they pay top dollar. Full price. When they could go, they could go online and buy cigarettes um, on these from these online stores. Sometimes they go come over state lines. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I don't smoke cigarettes, but they, they, you know, there's all kinds of ways to get around. They could cut costs by vaping, but instead, you know, they it's just convenience. keep going to the store and they keep on buying the, the tailor mades and it's convenience uh, paying for them. And it's selection, right? So the drug dealer isn't going even in a in a legal situation. The dealer down the street isn't going to have the same selection as one of these stores, and it's not going to be as convenient as well as the store where you walk in and you're presented with dozens of options. And then they've got the candies, you know, the the edibles, yeah. the various different types of ways to, uh, to you know to acquire this drug. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Maybe you want to comment. You're welcome to join us here, and then we'll tell you about writing a nasty note on speeding tickets. If you own a business, you know incorporating can be a smart way to protect yourself and your assets. So the question is, why haven't you incorporated your business yet? My business? It's too small. Wrong. No matter how small your business, you run the risk of losing all your personal assets, your car, your home, even your entire life savings if you're not incorporated. Incorporating is very complicated. Actually, incorporating is easy and fast. You can do it in just 10 minutes. Call now for your free guide from incorporate.com. 1-800-945-8645. I need a lawyer to incorporate. That's really expensive. You don't need a lawyer, and we don't offer legal or financial advice. Incorporate.com is a service company whose only mission is helping people like you incorporate safely, easily, and quickly. Find out how simple it is to protect your family and personal assets by incorporating. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-945-8645. 1-800-945-8645. That's 1-800-945-8645. My name is Bill Bonner, and I'm the president of the largest private news and research network in the world. And I paid for this airtime because I have an important message to the American people. There's a change coming that the government isn't telling you about. This change has deep implications for life in America, from where you shop to the doctors you visit and the family you want to protect. Look. I've made predictions like this before. Thing is, I was right then, too. A few years ago, I warned that housing prices would collapse. They did. Before that, I warned that dot-com companies would crash. They did. Those who listened had a chance to save themselves. But this has nothing to do with the stock market. This will affect us all. You can watch the video for free right now by going to disappearingwealth.com. Again, that's disappearingwealth.com. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The human body is more than 60% water. 
your brain and muscles are 75% water, and your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Oh, yeah. Free Talk Live. <laughs> Toll-free number here playing with uh, our uh, phones, and that was distracting. <laughs> this Periscope thing, we're, we're checking it out here in the studio. Taron Lupo is, is broadcasting another stream of the show here tonight on his Periscope feed. Uh, but the you, know, you can't actually hear the callers on the Periscope feed. No, so. that's, that's kind of a problem I'm going to have to figure out. Um, people are watching at Periscope, and what they're doing is they're actually listening to the live feed at www.lrn.com. Oh, sorry, You're so FM. cute with your W's. I love it. You don't <laughs> need to put W's school. in there, man. All right, I don't know if you know that. There are only a few websites that actually require W's, and it's usually government sites because they don't know how to configure their DNS servers oh. properly. <laughs> all right. All right. Sorry, uh, so, yeah. I'm not cool enough to just LRN. say LRN.FM. is all you got to so put in. if you want to actually see kind of a behind the scenes, you can tune in to me on Periscope with my Twitter name, at Taren Lupo. So if they just go to your Twitter, it'll at Taren Lupo, it's right there. You click on it. All you have it, to do is click on it, and it's easy. Now, what I think is cool. Uh, about the, the Periscope is that, like, at least for doing Free Talk Live, we get people all the time asking, or at least often enough, asking us, hey, why don't you broadcast what you say during the breaks? Yeah, people want to know, um, which mostly you know. is nothing. Yeah, usually we. <laughs> yeah, literally, this has about been our sandwiches. most. This has been our most active break show like that there's ever been because normally we just sit here and you know do show prep or we're you know doing something on our computers. Mark's playing some video game half the time or <laughs> half whatever. The time, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, so there's been more conversation now during the break because of this, and you've you know I think that's cool. That's a cool thing. Tara. Yeah. So if you guys don't know what this is, it's kind of like uh, Twitter's version of I don't know YouTube. You stream, it's, I would it's say, it's stream, like a live stream. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you streams yeah. it better with your Twitter account attached. And so uh, if you want to see that and see behind the scenes, uh, but I would recommend that you stream the show so you can hear the callers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, that's why I say it's probably more valuable to do it during the break. It gives people something to do at that time. Anyway, uh, check out more Taryn Lupo, TarynLupo.com. Our toll-free right. number tonight, 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well. It's Skype username LRN.FM. Here on Free Talk Live, we're big fans of alternative currencies. You hear a lot about Bitcoin, but that doesn't mean that we've forgotten gold and silver. Uh, both of uh, both of us are big fans of that. Taryn, do you have some uh, silver, gold, that kind of stuff? I love it. I yeah. yep. It's always going to be I'm good. Gonna say. It's always going to be good, right? Like gold and silver. <laughs> I mean, when's that going to go out of style? Who is who is going to stop liking gold in our lifetime? That's probably not, it's probably not gonna not happen. going to happen. So uh, you want to help protect your wealth? Maybe you consider it as an investment, a barter currency. You can get gold and silver from our friends over at Midas Resources. Midas, by the way, is a company that is behind the syndicate that helps get our show on radio stations all around the country. So when you buy through Midas Resources, you are helping Free Talk Live. Just go to silver.freetalklive.com or call them toll free eight fifty or excuse me eight seven seven. 857-9938. That's Midas Resources. Go to silver.freetalklive.com. You can also go to gold.freetalklive.com. Takes you to the same place. And toll free, 877-857-9938. Mark, uh, let's go to the story about writing a nasty note on a speeding ticket to, I presume, either the police or whoever it is that processes the tickets. Yeah, what happened? I, I mean, send, send a little love to the people that are demanding money from you yeah. um, in, in the form of a ticket. So, coming from the New York Times by uh, Benjamin Weiser, began with a speeding ticket. it began with a speeding ticket given in upstate New York to a man whose response was, to put it mildly, less than polite. He sent back a payment uh, f- uh, form with a scribbled five-word expression of vulgarity and crossed out the town's name. And instead of liberty, the man wrote tyranny. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, authorities were not amused they ordered I the love man this guy this Let's is uh, new hampshire william m barboza <laughs> to, uh, to return to town court 
a long drive from his home in Connecticut. Mr. Barbosa was summarily lectured by the judge, <laughs> arrested, and held for several what? hours on charges of aggravated harassment. In most small town traffic cases, justice is dispensed quietly, fines are paid, and unhappy drivers go on with their lives. Yeah, that's true. This case did not go that way. Mr. Barbosa decided to sue the Village of Liberty, whose uh, police officers had arrested him. Last week, a federal judge uh, in uh, White Plains ruled that his uh, First Amendment rights had been violated and allowed his lawsuit to proceed. Wow, great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The whole time I was there, it felt like an episode of The Twilight Zone. That's my Barbosa accent. He uh, said in a uh, phone interview on Tuesday, I just wanted to ask if they had any sense of irony at all. That's, uh -huh. as I assume, the, uh, the town's name of Liberty. The mm -hmm. village of Liberty, it turns out, might have a problem with people who utter vulgar things that they should not. Um, Mr. Barbosa's lawyers argued in court papers that the village has had a practice of unconstitutionally arresting people for offensive speech on the street, in phone messages, and huh. in the presence of police officers. Now, I Which believe... Which state was this? I'm sorry. Liberty what? This is Liberty, New York. New York, okay. And <laughs> I've got to say that I feel like a police officer who's being paid by the public who uses vulgar language, just as a matter of course. I mean, I get it if you're wrestling a subject to the ground and he smashes his elbow into your nose. Fine. That's a different story. But if you're just talking to a citizen yeah. and you begin using foul language, I think that's a suspension right off the bat. But... Most You're not police, in charge. Most police departments aren't going to do that. Mm -mm. They, uh, they, they, their cops have to uh, be able to say these things. So I don't. Cops uh, can say it to you, but you can't say it to them if you live in Liberty, New York. In a lot of cases, that's that's it. So, um, yeah. But success. A federal judge uh, basically slapped him in the face. That's correct. Um, well, at this point, they've, a federal judge has allowed him allowed the case to proceed. Oh, okay. So it's not so, over yet. Um, Got it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, people use language like that all the time, said uh, Stephen Bergenstein, a lawyer who represents Barbosa, along with the New York Civil Liberties Union. They send letters like this to customer service at Verizon, the IRS. Sure. When people are unhappy, they vent in forms like that. Uh, you shouldn't have to get arrested for it. Now, th they remember, they drug him back to from uh, Connecticut yeah. for this. They didn't go and arrest him in Connecticut. They drug him back to New York um, and to, to do it. So, I mean, just sort of sloth on their part, they too. Put it, they put an order, they sent him an order saying, you got to come back to court, and then they arrested him. That's correct. Mr. Robosa's <laughs> lawyers have claimed in court papers that the village has failed to educate its officers on the limitations and arrest of persons engaged in protected speech yeah. or in how to interpret state laws on aggravated harassment or disorderly conduct. Um, Here we are in 2015, and this kind of ridiculous uh, nonsense, this is tyranny, is happening to people. And thank goodness this guy had the uh, the money to go after them, because I don't imagine it was cheap hiring uh, an attorney, although it sounds like the ACLU's come on board and they usually work for free. So who knows, maybe this isn't as expensive uh, as it sounds for him, except for the fact that it's time and effort, because I'm sure this man would probably prefer to be doing something else. It yeah. blows me away that they're going to waste this much money and uh, effort on, you know, how much do you think it costs to, to drag this guy? And how much do they have to pay the cops to go get him? And oh, yeah, they how didn't much... have to go get him. He came to court. They well, arrested him there. I thought, oh, they arrested him at court. I yeah. thought they had to drag him out from Connecticut, he nope. was saying. No. All right, I nope. misunderstood. What I'm saying is is that they, they're such lazy slugs over in um, Liberty, New York, that they actually make the guy come from Connecticut yeah. on his own dime to get arrested. I mean, that's pretty low. And well, I've they can't say, go and get him. To some extent, um, I have... Uh, uh. I, I, I have sympathy for his uh, message that he wrote to them. Uh, what was it he wrote? Tyr tyranny what now? No, no uh, what he wrote, he scratched out the name of the town Liberty and wrote Tyranny. Yeah. But the message, the five-word message that he wrote was, F your essy town, you witches with a B. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good translation. Thank you. 855, 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Clyde, age 59, and I reside in Florence, South Carolina. The doctors diagnosed me as having clogged arteries. Felt like I was carrying heavy concrete blocks around my feet and legs. I started taking heart and body extract as directed. It is less than three weeks, and I'm like a young man again. It's unbelievable that an herbal formula can work so fast and so powerfully. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. 
Just recently, we've witnessed some of the most catastrophic disasters in history. Be sure to prepare yourself with great-tasting, high-quality, GMO-free food that has a 25-year shelf life. Of course, we're talking about the foods from SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. And don't forget, the human body needs up to three quarts of water every day to remain healthy and hydrated. So check out our water bricks at SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. Go to SurvivalFoodAlliance.com or call 877-223-1776. Extend your life with Extend Ovite. Hey neighbor, what are you doing digging? You had a heart attack last year. Oh, I know. I was told no more hard labor. Then why are you digging? Well, I've been taking Extendivite. It's been approved to help my heart. Extendivite? Is that a new drug? No, not a drug. It's uh, more like an herbal combination made from garlic and cayenne. Herbal? How can that help? Well, actually, we've taken herbs for thousands of years, and Extendivite is doing the job for me. Does your doctor know about Extendivite? Yeah, my doctor knows, and he said it seems to be working for you, so don't stop taking it. I feel great taking Extendivite. I don't want to stop. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich, working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. Ready Supply Foods sells more food for your money than any other company, and we can prove it. We've gathered nutritional facts from our competitors' own websites and divided them by price to show you how much they sell per dollar. In an emergency, calories mean survival. Ready Supply Foods sells 245 calories per dollar, where the others average only 155. That's 58% more for your money. We're the new leader in value and quality. See the comparisons at readysupplyfoods.com today. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live, and uh, you probably hear it. I'm a little sick at the moment, so I apologize for, uh, for that sound in my voice. Uh, I'm Ian, by the way. Welcome. I'm Taryn P. Lupo. And I am King Mark the First. We have a phone and a Skype. You can call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype, Skype username, lrn.fm. And uh, you can join us in either way if you'd like. Whatever it is that you want to discuss. Right now we're talking about freedom of speech. The freedom of being able to say what you want to a government bureaucrat. In this case, a man wrote a nasty note to a nasty bunch of bureaucrats who had given him a, uh, what was it, a ticket for speeding? Was it? I believe it was a speeding ticket, Some yeah. sort of speeding ticket. And he wrote, can you read the uh, the censored version of the notes? Sure, he said, <laughs> frack your uh, crappy town uh, uh, witches. Yeah, <laughs> with three of those words. Yeah. Yeah. 
and that got him arrested. They uh, sent him a notice saying, you need to come back to court. And then came, <laughs> We'd like to see you, Mr. Barbosa. Yeah. And he dutifully came back, and yeah. when that happened, was arrested, charged with, uh, what was it? He, what was the charge? Um, I, I don't know. They, they arrested Some him for something. Some sort of BS nonsense. Maybe and, aggravated harassment. I don't know. Yeah, and then, uh, I know it's said in the beginning of the story, but anyway, then they, uh, so they charged him with that, and he has now sued in federal court. The case is uh, moving forward, but it is not yet complete. So I guess we'll see what happens. This is a cut and dry story. I mean, look, yeah. this has happened time and time again. The classic example of this story is somebody who flips the bird to the cops. Yeah, I mean, flipping the bird at a police officer's protected speech, from what I can tell, in every, everywhere court across case the United after States. Court, yeah, case. court case after court case. Because the cops don't learn their lesson. I mean, right. there's no punishment for the police for violating this. If the cops, if you flip the cops a bird and they arrest you, they won't get in trouble even if later on down the line you win the case. If enough people do it and they keep on arresting them, that at some point, and, and the lawsuits keep on coming in, at some point they will get in trouble because um, when they have to settle on these, yeah. and they do have to settle on then these, the insurance rates then the insurance um, company is going to say, look, your stupid cops keep on arresting people for stuff that's not against the law. That's true. Your rates are going up the next time. Yeah. Then the chief says, brings everybody in. Listen, right, boys, boys. It, it sure stinks to get the, the finger given to you, but uh, you're going to have to figure out something different. Right. This just isn't going to work. And then they'll find new ways to harass people. But I, is- I thought that's part of the job description is you're supposed to be able to take punishment and abuse from yes. the public. Now, what that's you, part of what you signed up to do being a cop. No, what what the what you signed up to, be, um, to do as a cop is to give lip service to... To taking abuse from the public because you can do whatever you want uh, largely. So, uh, the, you know, there's another version, a variant on this story, and it's happening right here to me and other activists here in the Keene, New Hampshire area uh, for what's called Robin Hooding. Now, for new listeners of the show, uh, do one of you want to describe what Robin Hooding is? Robin Hooding's going around um, to parking meters. They do it mainly here in Keene, New Hampshire, but it's certainly been done around the world. Going to parking meters and filling the parking meters, hopefully before the meter maid gets there. So what you're going to do yeah. is you're going to spot for the meter maid um, or the uh, what, what parking enforcer. That's right. Um, now they're called parking services. Whatever the heck they are, right? The meter maid. They rebranded. And uh, you know you're you're going to try to find them, and you're going to figure out what direction they're going. Obviously, following behind them doesn't make any sense because you're waiting for them to write tickets, and uh, you're plugging meters after they go. Just sort of plugging meters when they're not out and doing their thing doesn't make much sense either. So you got to kind of keep an eye on them, and sometimes they'll get tricky. Like they'll try to turn one way or go the other, and so then you're trying to get back in front of them and that kind of thing. So the city sued over the Robin Hooders, claiming that we were threatening, harassing, and intimidating their employees. Uh, of course, there's no evidence that was ever presented of them being threatened, intimidated, or harassed. Uh, they, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of hours of Robin Hooding video, so they could have done their best to present whatever evidence there was, but they didn't do that very well. And so the judge threw the cases out at the superior court level. The City government appealed to the Supreme Court here in New Hampshire. The activists pretty much won at the Supreme Court, but there was one aspect that got kicked back to Superior Court. And the aspect that was kicked back to uh, Superior Court was the Supreme Court said, well, Superior Court, Mr. Superior Court Judge, you did dismiss these charges based on uh, freedom of speech, essentially, but you still needed to look at this other issue of filing an injunction against the Robin Hooders on a separate basis. So you need to go and re-examine this issue, this one issue. So it's going back in early October. It's actually October 2nd. We're going to be back in court two years later after the you know the first three days of court hearings that we had about this. And I don't think, I mean, most of these people that are in this court case aren't doing Robin Hooding anymore. No. I mean, you're named, and you weren't even a big Robin Hooder, really. No, but I'm going to be the focus of this next court case. And, um, um, you know, Kate has moved. Uh, Pete is not even living in the state. Um, he's not even in the country anymore. Is he not even in the he's country? He's in Mexico. Right. There's a, I mean, you know, people are... People are long gone, and yep. they're still figuring this out. Look... Well, Robin Hooding is still going on. It's protected uh, speech to be able to... Uh, you know, try to feed people's meters. Right, but this just shows how, you know, yet another example of even though we're supposedly have protected speech, this government can keep bringing 
uh, not charges in this case, but it, it, it brought two civil cases against us, alleging civil conspiracy to interfere with their duties and all kinds of nonsense. And that's what was kicked out of the court. They kicked both of the cases out. But now it's going back and they're going to be using video of me in this next one because last year in September... I encountered one of the parking enforcers on the streets. I saw her, and I was actually out doing uh, some campaigning for a, a, actually a political candidate, but I got my Robin Hood cards with me. I got some change with me. I saw the parking enforcer, and so I started filling some meters. Uh, I was just waiting around for uh, this political campaign, and so I went and started filling meters in the downtime. And she was acting crazy, started to act very erratic, she was jumping out into traffic and then jumping away from the traffic. And she, they'll, she'll do this little game where she'll act like she's going to go one direction, but she'll change her direction. Except this time, normally she'll play the game at like a corner or something like that, where she's going one direction on a sidewalk or another. In this case, she would go out into the traffic, blocking traffic, and then come back and then go out again and back. And so I didn't actually have my camera out at that time. So I thought, gosh, I need to get my camera. She's acting crazy. You know, who knows what she's going to do next? I want to record this. Always best when yeah, dealing I mean, with a government bureaucrat. Yeah, right. So she I did jumps that. into traffic. Jeez. I uh, I did grab the the camera and I thought you know, I thought maybe if I got the camera she'd stop acting so crazy, uh, but no, she continued. Au contraire. No, she continued. <laughs> uh, she stopped jumping into traffic. By this time, she was on a different. You know, she was actually on the sidewalk, and uh, and then what she started doing then was she would turn around. She'd go 180 degrees. She'd just flip around. She'd walk about six or uh, or ten feet. She'd flip around again. She'd walk another six or ten feet. She'd flip around again. She did this 18 times in a two-minute period. So it was just like back back and forth, back and forth, back and forth along the same little plot of uh, sidewalk. All so the while, what are they going to do? Argue that you've driven your, their traffic enforcer insane? They are going to argue. Uh, yeah, I've seen the paperwork uh, so far for this, uh, this upcoming case. They're going to argue Mental that duress. I was trying to block her in, that I was somehow preventing her from going and doing her job. So when in the video, I actually say something like, you know, it doesn't look like you're doing your job. Or she's like, I'm trying to do my job. It's like, well, it doesn't look like it. Because if you were trying to do your job, you'd walk in one direction and go and check some meters. But instead, she's just turning back and forth and back and forth. And of course, this is one of these controversial videos, right? Like there are people within the liberty movement who are livid about how I treat this lady in the video. Where I'm, you know, I'm poking fun at her because she's acting in a ridiculous, absurd manner. This well, is absurd, insane behavior. And I point that out on the video. And now they're going to show this video in court. And this is their claim that it's still going on. They're still harassing. They're still intimidating our employees. And so this next case is going to, you know, it's once again, a free speech issue where they don't like what I am saying to this woman. That's what this is. Yeah. And intimidation and, uh, to some extent is, uh, you know, it, it certainly can be the intimidator, but it can be the intimidated too, right? Like if somebody, some big guy walks into a room, if you're intimidated, it has nothing to do with him. That's right. And, and if this, if she's just upset because somebody's filming her. Ian, are you the only one getting called in or is this? No, the people? whole, the, you know, the, the case is being I called back. I thought this back, thing right? was done, man. No, How can no, they keep it going? going? It's still going. Right. They've got money to spend. They'll Your probably tax appeal. money. They'll probably appeal this decision, too. 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. It's Free Talk Live. Now is the time to save on hardwood and more at Lumber Liquidator's end of summer clearance sale. We're making room for new fall inventory. That means it's your chance to get an incredible deal on solid pre-finished hardwood for just 99 cents. Wide plank, hand scraped oak for $1.99. Beautiful carbonized bamboo for $1.29. Plus, get 10 to 15% off Morningstar Bamboo, the number one selling brand of bamboo flooring. Top quality laminate and vinyl plank from 49 cents and 24 month special financing. Hurry, the end of summer clearance sale is going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Before girls' night out, my eczema flared up. Ugh, I felt like canceling. But then I tried Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. It's specially formulated for eczema and has 1% hydrocortisone, the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast, lasting itch relief. It quickly stopped the itch and soothed my red, dry, flaky skin. With Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief, I was ready for girls' night out, and it was the best one ever. Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Feel the heal. Use as directed. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. 
Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. A revolution in body protection has arrived only at FortressSurvivalLLC.com. Introducing the revolutionary patented Level 3 Bulletproof Vest. 100% Kevlar, 100% American made. Concealable, fully adjustable, and the lowest price on the market. Adult size normally $289.99, now just $250. Kid size normally $239.99, now just $200. Get affordable protection with a Level 3A Bulletproof Vest from FortressSurvivalLLC.com. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Why would you go anywhere else? KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free water purification kit for a limited time with any body armor package. Go to KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I Armor.com. Come and take it. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so, so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balancing the circulation for diabetics. So the body is an amazing thing. It simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself. Heart and body extract gets results. To order your two-month supply, call now, toll-free at 866-295-5305. Order online at hbextract.com. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! Hey, Free Talk Live here. You can join us toll-free on the radio waves. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And... The video in question I was talking about before, the uh, the one where I give the parking enforcer a kind of a hard time for being ridiculous. In where can behavior. people find this video? On the Freekeen YouTube channel, search for "Parking Enforcer Loses It." I believe loses is it. the yeah, name that's right. of yeah the name of that video. I think you could just look on YouTube generally and say "Parking Enforcer Loses It" and find it. Yeah, and that would likely uh, bring it up, and it's got I think twenty thousand views at this point. Um, and a lot of people are angry. You know, they don't like the way I treat the poor, poor parking enforcer in this video. And I, I mean, I don't want to be mean to the lady, but she's acting crazy. And if somebody is acting crazy in public, then I don't think it's, especially if they're a government bureaucrat, I don't think it's wrong to call them out for that behavior. Well, hey, you're acting nuts. Stop it. What is their response when you go to court and you say, you know, part of your job description is to take abuse from the public, even if I that wanted part to. Of their abuse descri- you. It, it's that right in their description. Is. Yeah. What is their response to that? Oh God, I don't know if they even responded to that uh, previously. I mean, I it's mean, just that's it's black and white in the description. So even if I you were abusive, just, too yeah. bad. I think okay, okay. I think I remember the response to that. It was, oh well, that's only occasionally. So you guys are doing it all the time, and so therefore it's wrong when you do it. Is has been the response, which of course, sorry, freedom of speech. And by the way, that's not true. I don't give them a hard time all the time. This was the only time, and this is the only piece of evidence they have in the last two years of this. Uh, you know, I don't give them a hard time all the time. One of them is actually fairly nice, and her and I get along just fine. We don't have any issues. It's this one of one of there's two parking enforcers. One of them is particularly grumpy and rude, 
And then the other one's pretty nice. And so the, it's the rude, grumpy one who was the one acting crazy was why I brought the video camera out in the first place to uh, to record that. And, man, people just – there's just a certain segment of people who – they probably don't like getting parking tickets when it happens to them, but they love the idea of parking enforcement. They love the idea of the status quo and the way things are. And anybody who challenges that – is the enemy is a bad person and i feel like you know look we need to look at the real problem here and the problem is parking enforcement the park the 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 threatening of peaceful people people who are just trying to go downtown to do their business of whatever threatening those people with stealing their cars from them and i understand that you know the excuse from the opposition is well that's just the system are you saying you don't want uh, you know to have clean streets where people just aren't parking everywhere and all the employees are parking in all the spots where the customers can park and the people who live above the businesses are parking right on main street are you saying that's what you want that's why we need parking enforcement well there's a var- there's a whole variety of things the just because you need some kind of system to handle parking on Main Street in Keene, New Hampshire, does not mean that the system that you have is a good one. Um, so yeah. my question to those folks would be, what if you believed that you could do it better? How would you go about changing the system as it exists? You should lobby your they, city council. And they say, well, go to the city council person, and they'll ignore you, especially In if fact, they're they you. In fact, they did. Uh, well, not just me, but Daryl Perry, our uh, Thursday night co-host, he actually put in a proposal recently to the city council to eliminate the parking department. And I was there. I witnessed. He was on the air when the meeting happened. I went and I watched the meeting. And I, they did exactly what we predicted they were going to do. The uh, city clerk said, and we have a communication from Daryl W. Perry about ending the parking department. And then the mayor says, filed is informational. Right. Next. And yeah, but that's that's how it goes. But I mean, even if you just wanted to make the parking uh, department more efficient, they've got like um, two meter maids. That's right. And then they have like two more people who do stuff. That doesn't bureaucrats. have to do, yeah, just bureaucrats. They've got a manager for these two people. Um, well, here, I got an idea. Let's eliminate those two positions. Well, how much does it cost? Do you guys actually know the numbers of how much does it cost for compared to what they collect and how much does uh, does the the program make at this point? Because I know Robinhood's costing them a lot of money. As I Is, understand- are they upside down in this? I believe they're in the red. Um, they are, they've been in the red, but they're actually collecting less now in fines than previously. So even though Robin Hooding isn't happening as strong this year as it has in the past, it's still happening, but it's not as uh, as organized it has, as it has been. Uh, they claim in their most recent court filing that their revenue is down. It was down in 2014 and it's down again in 2015. They so. also claim that this isn't about revenue, but they always That's mention right. revenue, um, which is uh, fascinating. Uh, well, that at they... first they claimed it wasn't about revenue when they filed their first case against us, but then when they filed the second case, that was for damages. Yeah, well, they um, they did that, but every time they go on TV and they talk to uh, mm-hmm. you know the national press about this, they say this isn't about money. This is about protecting our yeah, uh, parking enforcers and. You know, like this, I'll tell you, this isn't about harassing your parking enforcers. This is about making a more efficient parking system in Keene, New Hampshire. But you people don't care. You don't listen. You protect government workers. You want to make sure people who have optical and dental and, you know, whatever other benefits and large paychecks they have are protected at the cost of people who do not have these things. We had a pregnant mother getting her car towed and the Robin Hooders were out there protecting her. It sure wasn't your government bureaucrats handing out fines sitting in offices and that sort of thing. So if you want to share your thoughts, uh, you're certainly welcome to join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I'm sure that I just don't know what kind of management it takes to make sure that uh, we have the proper amount of uh, painted pieces of asphalt out there. I mean, I want to know what this parking enforcer manager does. That's what I want to know. Because the parking spaces are there. Can't the uh, the meter maids themselves just call up for, oh, we need more paint in this uh, in the, the West Street block or whatever, and then have uh, maintenance come out and, and paint these things? Why is it that they need this manager position? Because for me, it's not about the two meter, meter maids, although I think they could do the same job really with one of mm. them. 
Because the problem with the, the, the deal with parking enforcement is a scare tactic. Right, you park here for too long, um, or you don't feed your meter, or whatever. You could get a ticket. Yeah, everybody's managed to dodge one, and everybody's gotten one. Well, if you have one meter made, could you not scare people as effectively as if you have two? Yeah, I mean, yeah, could you a take a tactic. whole day off and things wouldn't make a, the least bit of difference? Because I mean, there's been days people still feed the meter on Sunday and they don't well, enforce. Well, right. What's the um, say? You guys could get the meters to go away. How would they handle the situation of uh, people just parking all day and taking the spots? You could still have a two-hour limit. You could still have a three-hour limit or something like that. Not that I support that. I think the best way to, to handle this would be to Give turn it, to it over the to the marketplace yeah. and let businesses decide how to allocate the spaces in front of their businesses. Duh. Well, I think that that's, um, to, to some extent, it's it's really obvious. I, you know, I, I remember going downtown, um, and I was going to go to a breakfast place, and then I realized I don't have any change in my pocket. Yep. And I'm like, well, what am go I going to do about else. that? Do I want to go? and go someplace, get some change, come back and feed the meter. Maybe I'll have a ticket by then. And I don't know if this was Saturday or Sunday morning, if I had to or whatever, but I just decided to get in the car and drive to uh, the next breakfast place that had parking that wasn't on Main Street. Not downtown. Right, it wasn't downtown. So these downtown businesses are losing business because of these, to some extent, because of these this parking enforcement that's going on. That makes good sense. And they're they're afraid. A lot of them are afraid to really speak out because they, you know, they know they're going to get targeted by like code enforcement or something. If you go against the city, you know, they say you can't fight city hall. Well, there's a reason for that because they get a lot of power and it's pretty hard to to fight city hall. Um, luckily though, there were actually 30 business owners here in Keene who signed a petition against the proposed increase in the parking rates. And so we do have a fairly vocal set of people here in the Keene area. Um, they had proposed doubling the fines. Now here in Keene, it's five bucks for a f- Parking right. fine for the first time. Laughably line. low. Uh, you know, compared to New York City or other places, that's nothing. But, you know, here, still, it's a lot of money because, you know, people don't make as much in Keene. So $5 is still something significant. They wanted to double that to $10. And uh, people, you know, they, they actually signed petitions against that. And the city council has tabled the issue. So they've actually tabled the issue twice. This has come up twice in the last two years, this proposed raise in the parking rates. Uh, and they keep tabling it. So they're going right. to bring it back again. But well, They're going to raise the parking rates at some point because they b- basically they have to. But I'm giving them all kinds of ideas on how to um, you know, avoid this stuff. They don't need the personnel that they have. Ian, I am correct when I say that there is both a um, sort of an internal government uh, parking bureaucrat and a parking bureaucrat manager, right? Well, the uh, czar, the parking czar, as he has been called, is retiring from that position. Yeah. And well, but they're going to put somebody else in They it. may not actually refill the position. Uh, well, then we got to run, man. I want to put one of our own in. Well, that would <laughs> make does s- nothing. <laughs> because I don't know what the parking czar is getting paid for, awesome. but a czar is somebody who gets paid a lot of money from my standpoint. So, you know, there's going to be your sh- budget shortfall right there. So, back tomorrow night for more Free Talk Live. Uh, Meantime, you can join Taryn on his website, TarynLupo.com, and also on his Twitter, at Twitter slash TarynLupo. We'll come back with more tomorrow. Join us online in the meantime at FreeTalkLive.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves. And we're out here in front of uh, Keene State College. It's a beautiful day in Keene, New Hampshire, as it's actually voting day. As you can see, we have encountered a parking enforcer. I want to make sure we got some meters that are filled up here. She was playing games earlier, trying to play like she was going to run across the street, but then didn't. Now she's turning around this way, and now she's turning around again. Don't you feel kind of silly doing that? (laughs) Oh my goodness. Silly to the max. Silly, silly. (laughs) Do they pay you to walk back and forth like that? Well, I appreciate you asking, but you're a government official, so you're subject to being talked to. Part of the uh, All right, part, had enough. part of the uh, <clears throat> the had Constitution enough. of the I've United States. 
The Constitution of New Hampshire. I've had enough. Part of Leave the Constitution of New Hampshire is that government officials are supposed to be open and accountable. And so to I be accountable. Like this. this isn't harassment, ma'am. I'm simply talking to you as a government official. You're someone who should listen to what the people have to say. And in point of fact, as a member of parking enforcement, it is part of your job and your job description to actually uh, put up with what people have to say to you because a lot of people don't like getting parking tickets, do they? A lot of people don't like you either. Oh, well that's okay. I expect that to happen because we do activist, uh, activist stuff and you know, that means that some people are gonna get upset about it. <laughs> do you think that uh, her bosses will be happy to pay her to walk back and forth all day? Apparently cams do real stuff. As soon as you leave me alone, I'll go. Well, why don't you leave these people alone? Go back to your truck and drive away. I'm doing my job. Okay, doesn't look like it. I think your job is supposed to be yeah, handing out tickets to people. You're repeating it. Well, leave the poor lady alone. She's crazy. Oh, she's fine. She's out here. Le she's not leaving people alone. As soon as she stops leaving people alone, I'll leave her alone. How about that, Linda? You're obnoxious. Thank you. Well, I'm not the one who's here threatening to steal people's cars. That's her. That's what she does. I think she's just doing her job. Like yep. That. And that's stealing people's cars. That's what her job is. Yep, right here. So this is all you do? No, actually I'm taking the day off. Doing some election work or giving people rides to the polls so they but can you vote. Get paid to, like, like this guy has yeah. 730 to 4. Do you have something? Jobs like suck. That? I actually own my own business, so I can set my own schedule. I own my own it's pretty business. Pretty nice. And I end up meeting when I work seven days a week. Yeah, I know, me too. Yeah, really. Good luck. Thank you. 